Welcome to our timeline, Traveler. That's it, we're starting early. <laughs> oh my gosh. DPS Eagle, that has never happened to me before. You are officially, congratulations, you're officially the first person to raid before the stream has even started. <laughs> Nice! Wow, thank you so much for the raid. That is huge. Jeez. He's had a two-hour queue? Oh, no. Not the ranked queues. Yeah, yeah, that's that's mighty unfortunate. DPS Eagle should be a mod now. I can VIP D DPS Eagle for such a legendary raid, sure. Uh, let me hope I get the name right. Do, do, do. Is it like this? I think? Yes, hey, there we go. Nice. Let me also do a shout-out. I always forget to do these whenever I get a raid, but since I'm on the ball today, I guess we can do that. There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Yay, I think that worked. Hey, let's go. But, uh, yeah, welcome to the stream, everybody. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, today we're just doing some Trials of the Realm action here. We got a new set of Trials of the Realm to complete. And, yeah, we're almost done with this full set of Trials, right? We've only got Ico Tundra and then one more week left. And in this set, we've got 25 Crystals. That's pretty nice. Uh, we also got Challenger's Chest and <laughs> 1x Event Pass. Wow, I can get the whole Event Pass from this? No, it's probably just a level of the Event Pass. But uh, all we have to do is heal in a single match. Play 20 Siege matches, shield for 80, 000, or 8,000 in a match five times. Only 8,000? I can complete that with Pip. <laughs> okay. Um, capture 40 points, heal 250,000 health, play 20 matches. So we're probably not going to get all of these done today. But yeah, it looks just to be like a normal amount of grinding again. So let's get started with that. And uh, yeah, let's invite some people. So I always play with viewers. When we do this, if you want to join the party, all you have to do is say a name in the chat, like so many people have already done. Delta Sapphire, we'll start with you. Swordsman, 111. Bebo, the blue god, of course. And Savage 2. Alright, perfect. Complete it with Pip. You want me to complete it with Pip? Hey, I'll do it with Pip. Absolutely. Let's go. Um, oh. That's new. That's, okay, that's weird. Wait. What the heck? They're changing around the modes so much now. Okay, so they brought back Team Deathmatch last week. Now it's immediately gone. Payload is back. Onslaught disappeared. Now we have King of the Hill. Siege is in the middle for some reason? W ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. That Okay, that's, that's crazy. Um, let's just queue for everything then, I guess. Actually, I probably should just play Siege, right? Yeah, I probably should just play Siege. So we'll do that then, because that's what the Trials needs us to do. And we got to go the Mustard Man Pip skin, of course. Mustard Man Pip, where is he? Uh, there he is. Pippity Pip Pip. Yeah, no Inventor Pip, no Pippity Pip Pip. Pip. See. Just got to use the Mustard Man. And the so way we're going to champion. complete this with Pip, if you don't know, Pip is uh, with Mega life. Potion. This talent gives us a shield. Whenever we hit anybody with the uh, the potion, right? So I hit Rom, he gets a shield. Hit Nyx, she gets a shield, etc. And <laughs> theoretically, we could buy Guardian for it. I feel like that might be a bit of a waste. And Kronos will give us more uptime on the shields anyways. So I'll probably just do that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, gosh, 8,000 is just such a low bar. Time, honestly. Honestly, I don't see why they don't just do, like, I don't know, <laughs> uh, get 100,000 shielding in three matches or something like that instead. That would be more of a goal, you know? That'd be tougher. I think I would rather have that, personally. I think going Sentinel over Guardian might give you more shield. Ooh, that's a good idea, too. Because I can get assists from my teammates getting kills and then get shields myself, and then if they shoot me, I get, you know, shield damage. The other thing is, though, I'm trying not to get shot, so I don't know. I'll probably just do the usual Chronos thing uh, and then go from there. The trials are about what? Oh, most of Erlmeyer, most of them are just uh, same old, same old. <laughs> uh, you guys have heard my critique a bunch of times about these new trials, and I still have that critique of 
Explosive They're too boring this time check. around. Dashing trials 1.0 had champion-specific trials. Yes, some check. of them were awful. Some of them were way too easy, and some of them were way too difficult. But, at the end of the day, they forced you to get out of your comfort zone and play champions you don't normally play. There is not one single champion request, or a champion quest, in this set of trials. And it's much more boring, I think. I, I think champion quests should make a return. Anyways, let's do Mega Potion. Mega Potion. Yes, I know we're solo healing with this, but it'll be fine. Especially because Rom's going subservience, so he'll have the consistent healing. I'll have the burst healing and the shields, and it'll be beautiful. Yes, I'm ready. They've got triple flank, though, so I am going to have to be careful here. Maybe Sentinel will be worth it after all for the shield on myself, because I'm going to be attacked a lot this match. We'll see. So uh, let's just let her take a bit of damage and throw the potion. Now there's some shields. To actually have the shield health count, though, I need them to take damage when the shield is active. Otherwise, it'll just expire and, you know, I won't really get any benefit out of that. It's so, like there, yeah, throw it at Bebo, gets the shield, breaks the shield. Swordsman, have your shield destroyed! Get shot! Wow, Swordsman didn't get shot that entire time? What are they doing back there? Okay. Well, uh, let me throw this potion here. You know, myself and Rom. Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, that sucks. Alright, Swordsman, you should probably get back. We lost a bunch of people. I'm leaving. I'm running away! Get me out of here! Oh. Okay, everything is fine. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's just group up here. And... Yes, we shall <clears throat> throw more potions. I want to wait for you to take a burst. There you go. That should be fine. That's going on ROM, isn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, let me throw the potion on myself. I should live this. Need to get another one, though. Oh, crap. All right, there's a potion. Just keep them coming. That reload proc was so huge for me. Nice. Let me throw this there above. Do some more healing. Getting a lot of shielding right now, that's for sure. Break that trap. No traps here. There we go. And this is looking pretty good, I'd say. Let me just ult you. There we go. Huge. Okay. Swordsman! There you go. Oh, it's just not enough. Jeez. Is the heal yourself for 20% of HP when using potion on others only uh, a good card? Oh, that card? Yeah, I use it as a filler, usually. Uh, it's a little bit of extra health. Uh, and, and yeah, you know, if you want to be using your potion on teammates most of the time, then yeah, it can be nice to have that little bit of extra uptime. Because otherwise, your only way to heal yourself is just throwing the potion at yourself. Although, a skill that you should be building with Pip, generally... Uh, to improve your self-sustain is grouping up with your team so that way you can just hit them and yourself with the potion and always just try and hit as many people as you can with it because it's imperative to maximize your healing output yeah it can go up to 100% at level 5 although in my opinion you just can't really do that because to do that you have to sacrifice uh, too many other loadout cards that are too important like instead of running that at level 5 you could run you know reload at level 5 or uh, potion Radius at level 5, or Acrobat's Trick at level 5, or Pep in the Step 5, and I feel like all of those are much more worthwhile cards to run on Pep. Hello. Ah! Behind us! Potion! No! Ah, man, I couldn't survive the Koga. He's too nimble. No protection in the back. <laughs> okay, they finally kill him, but now I'm not there to heal them. Really awkward situation. This is why you gotta protect the healer. I'm not gonna heal you, you can heal out of combat. I gotta give potions to Nyx. There you go. Uh, and group up, there's a reload. Oh, never mind, no reload proc, right? I can throw that. Um, Alright, yeah, group up, throw that up there. Would've been nice if I got Omen in that too, but I didn't line it up quite right. Maybe I could've done it. Okay. Oh, that actually killed him. Wait, I'm in danger. Oh, ho, 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 stop it. Oh my god, I'm alive. Dude, the self-sustain from this talent is so good. <laughs> yes. 
<sighs> Alright. We're actually in it to win it right now. That's one of the major benefits about Mega Potion over Combo Medic. The healing is less reliable, but you get more survivability out of it as Pip. And more damage out of it, which also leads to more survivability, because you do more damage to flankers that try and kill you! Ah. Okay, uh, let's do more Chronos. Max that out. It's just so helpful on uh, on Mega Potion, you know? Uh, hopefully they can stay alive here. Rom's got to heal them. He's getting himself out of position. He's going to die. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to snipe this out. Didn't hit Nyx. Hopefully she can live. Nope. Caspian's still on point. He's running away from it, though. No, we're not having that overtime. Oh, I'm just feeding, then. Why did I do that? Okay. I wish I could use Pep in the step, but I'm forced to use Reload and Medicinal Excellence. Yeah. In my uh, Combat Medic build, I swap out Acrobat's Trick for Pep in the step. I know it's less healing output, but I like having that extra utility for my teammates. Although, Evil Mojo should let the speed actually affect Pip. I don't think it does. Uh, Grover also has a card that basically does the exact same thing. It doesn't affect him either. I think that would be nice. Does Guardian work on Inara? If you use the shield card, then yes, but otherwise, no, because her wall is a deployable, not a shield. I know it's kind of confusing because on the end screen, you do see a shielding stat for Inara and Azan, but don't get it twisted. They're still deployables. If Bulldozer affects it, then Guardian will not affect it, and Bulldozer affects the walls, so that's the general rule of thumb. Okay, I guess I'll throw this here, just to give them some shielding, keep them popped off. Throw that there. I probably should have thrown that at Swordsman. Maybe that wasn't entirely necessary, but I just want to cause some chaos here. You know, let's make this interesting, right? Potion there. There we go, finish him off. Throw a potion there. Oh boy, do not peek that. Do not. Alright, throw that there. I can't stand on this point, I just got revealed. Ah oh, man, guys, I need some help. I can't stand on the point. <laughs> I need help with the flanks. Uh, um, how many eliminations am I getting? I'm 11 and 5. Is it worth doing Sentinel? It probably only is if I do Guardian. I really, I don't think I need Guardian though. I'm just going to play normally. So let's get some armor plating. More survivability the better, right? Okay, oh... Uh, no, I just wasted that potion and both our tanks are dead. Okay, we need to fall back hard. I'm running. I'm running from this Koga. There's no way he chases this, right? Yeah, he's not that greedy. Ooh, break that. Didn't do it in time, I don't think. Okay. Throw that potion to you. Sadly, it was cauterized. Oh, you're just gone. Okay. Oh, that there. We don't have touch, though, I don't think. Rom's going for it, but he's going to be too slow. Man, we got to do a better job of protecting from these flanks. Ugh. Like, for a while there, I was trying to, like, capture the point, but also... <laughs> I got flanked by Androxus and Tyra. It's a pain. Alright. Keep throwing those potions out. Uh, do that there. Uh, still was cauterized. Let me kill you. Keep throwing potions. Can wait for Cauterize, there's 2600 health on Rom, yes. It's so rewarding if you play this talent properly, time the Cauterize. But sometimes, like on that Rom there, you just can't really <laughs> wait for that. That's where Mega Potion is such a high-skill playstyle, not just for Pip, but for everybody. Because if you want to play with a, combat, or, uh, with a Mega Potion Pip on your team, you, as the teammate, have to make sure that you're grouping up with the team and that you're cleansing Cauterize properly. And if you do that, then it's very rewarding, but, you know, it's a lot more effort than just having a brain-dead support spam you the entire time, right? Ooh, Koga's coming around. I might have to ult someone here soon. I'm gonna try and keep throwing these potions out. They're still doing huge amounts of healing. Oh, Caspian. Ah, I can potion myself. just want you to go away. I'm gonna tell the team that there are people behind us, but, uh... I can't really deal with them right now. Yeah, she's still there. Oh, man. Right, let me keep potioning you. Uh, oh, boy. I'm just going to throw that. Just get him out of there. No! That was... Ah! Oh, the little delay. That's so sad. 
All right, keep throwing potions. Nyx actually has a lot of increased healing, so it's still worth it to just throw it on her, even if cauterize. <laughs> kind of crazy. She's uh, stacking Rejuve with her passive, which is really good. Really good strategy. Let's see if I can get you out of there. There's one. I'm sorry, Nyx. You'll have to wait a second. Okay, let me throw this at the wall. Throw another one. Oh, Bebo's just dead. My bad. E. All right, that's going to be huge. Nice. Oh, I just can't save him. Man. Okay. Uh, oh, the cauterize. We got the defense, though. So let's just full heal you, and nice. We got it. Three to three game? Maybe. Maybe. The thing is, we just... We have to do a good job of blocking the flanks from actually flanking us, right? If we protect me, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we win. I know that sounds kind of egotistical, because, like, oh, I'm the win factor, but, I mean, I am the support. And I am pretty vulnerable to Koga, and Droxus, and Kasumi. So... I need to position myself better. I'll try and do a better job of that. But we just gotta make sure we don't get wrecked behind, you know? Um, something I might do, since they're not buying Unbound, and two of them can't buy Unbound, is I'll actually buy Morale Boost. Because my ultimate can lock them down and save me from a flank, so I'll do that. I wish there was more popular tank content creators. <laughs> yeah. I play a lot of tanks. I need to make some tank guides here. Um, but yeah, I mean... Unbi is the tank main pro player, right? Pretty sure if I remember correctly. Otherwise, yeah, you're right. A lot of streamers just play a bunch of DPS and stuff. Wow, that actually... It looked like it hit him, but then it didn't. Alright, let me full heal myself. Kill you. Oh, man, that's just so satisfying. God, I love Mega Potion so much, dude. I just full healed Rom. Almost 3,000 health potion. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so gorgeous. <laughs> that's, that's some of the best stuff in this game right here, I swear. I hope they never remove this talent, even though it's his least popular talent, just because it's so fun. Ah. Oh. Alright, those are bad potions on my end. Uh, I'll just throw that there. Oh, that was just a smidge off cauterize. Alright, I'll throw another one just to keep you in the game. You're gonna die now. I mismanaged potions. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Okay. Potion there. Caspian's dead. I'm just letting everyone die. Now I'm gonna die. I definitely let us down there. I, I should play better. Unbi was also streaming like 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Azan Gamer. Yo. Same. Azan is so much fun. I've been playing a lot of him recently. He's just such a great tank, you know? It's interesting, though, how they managed to give him such an amazing base kit design, but then absolutely flop super hard on the talents and most cards. Like, we have Eternal, and then we have Duty as a Mountain. And if you use Duty as a Mountain with Eternal, you just are straight up throwing away loadout points. It's so sad. Alright, wait for Cauterize. There you go. Nice, we cap it. Stop it, Stealthy. Bam. This is why you should have bought Rezil, or Unbound. Now you lose every time I ult you. Ha ha ha. What do you think about Ruckus? Is he playable? Oh, Ruckus is amazing. Ruckus is an excellent off tank. He has extremely high damage for a tank, extremely high mobility for a tank. The only thing he lacks, really, is, uh, you know, brawn. But he still has a good amount of that. You can't play him like a point tank or a main tank. He is strictly an off tank. It, it, basically, just think of him as, like, really chunky Maeve. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you play him well, he is excellent. Especially when you flank with Ruckus and your other flank at the same time. It's beautiful. Amazing things happen. Deadly things happen. Someone behind me? Oh my god. I'm getting flanked. Ah. In my opinion, there's not a really a bad tank right now, as long as you play them well in the right situation. Apart from Rom. Rom is the worst tank in the tank class, if you ask me, because he gets countered by too many things, and he ends up just feeding a lot of ultimate charge to the enemy team. But apart from that, you can play pretty much any tank you want, and if you're good enough at them and you play them in the right situation, you'll do fine. Even Terminus. Terminus got a massive buff uh, with the siphon uptime. And that siphon, if you keep spamming it on certain maps, can be really good. 
He is more situational than other tanks, always has been. And I wouldn't call him meta, necessarily. But, you know, a lot better than he was last patch. And, uh, Yakaroth is also a weird one, but if you're good at her, she can work. She's just... weird. Mutually assured ulting! Oh, she's gone. It's worth it just to get the flank off of me. I would have died there otherwise. So let me... I don't know where I should be positioning. We're so spread out right now. Yeah, hello. You can jump over that wall now. That's cool. Of course, unfortunately, it led to your demise, but, you know, still cool. Boom. 1,600. Boom. Oh, man, just full heal everybody in late game. Yes. He's dead, though. There's a full heal on you. Oh, man, he's going for it. I missed time that. Oh boy. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. This is so tense right now. Oh, Savage might die. Ah, uh, everyone's dying. This is so bad. These flanks are eviscerating us right now. Ah, oh, man. Ouch. Why is it that you always find stupid high-level dredge in Tyra, like 300+, plus, sometimes even 500+, plus? I don't know. Sometimes people just play a lot of the easy champions because they're fun. You know, they just want to relax and end up dumping a bunch of time into somebody like that. Dredge also has some interesting tech. You do find a few dredge mains who are especially skilled at, like, using a uh, crow's nest and flanking and abyss spike and weird mechanics with the character. And those players have definitely earned their hundreds of levels, and they're actually respectable, like XSTB. Five, four. Hmm. Three, they absolutely ruin my boy Omen. His fire rate is bugged sometimes, it's accurate sometimes, and spread. And you also can get ability bugged and can't do anything. Yeah. Umber Lance is supposed to be the in-between talent, where it's in between the spread and fire rate of the two modes. But it applies the fire rate debuff to the rifle fire mode, right? Which is the slow fire mode. So it slows the slow fire mode instead of slowing the fast fire mode. So it's just objectively way slower and more useless than either of his two normal modes. It's so bad. It's very, very sad. Like, at this point, you should only be playing Binary Void. I don't even remember what the other talent does. That's how useless it is. Yeah. It's really not a good dynamic, and I'm sad to see what they did to him, because, in my opinion, the problem was more and more more. I don't think the problem was necessarily Umbral Lance. As long as they fixed the inconsistencies of the shotgun, I think that was one of the big problems, you know? Oh, man, that kill's not going to happen. We're just going to lose this game. Not enough kills. Ah. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be super surprised, considering they have three pretty good flanks versus, uh... <laughs> nerfed Omen and nerfed Caspian. Yes. <sighs> Don't play Binary Void, it's a bugged talent. What do you mean? What? Omen currently has no playable talent? Wait, what's the bug with Binary Void? As far as I was aware, that was just the regular talent that you go now. Don't use Umbral Lance and remove more and more, more from your loadout. Nomen is actually playable. <laughs> ah. ah! Man, I got 10 kills there. I actually kind of popped off on the Mega Potion Pip. We got 49,000 shielding. Yeah, we don't even need Guardian for this. I actually... <laughs> I did more shielding that match than I did damage. And I got 184,000 healing. That was a very good game of Mega Potion Pip, even though we lost. I'm happy to see that. But yeah, sadly, they just had more kills than us. The Koga especially was popping off. Um, but yeah, on average, it was a pretty close game kill-wise, actually. Really, Koga was the difference maker. If you look at the spread of the stats, both teams had one player who dropped the ball, only got three kills, but a lot of assists. <laughs> Basically, ROM support. Geno support. Nice. And then everyone else was about ten kills. Neat. Binary Void can stop dealing damage if you stack both voids on a target. For example, one pool, then as soon as it's about to expire, put another pool on the same target. It will not deal damage. Oh, boy. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? <laughs> Yeesh. New to the game, which weapon type is best for seven, or does it depend on how you want to kill someone? <laughs> Polaris, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. <clears throat> seven is weird. And he is... He The balance for him is basically different every patch, because he is one of the hardest characters to balance ever since his release, and 
the weapon mode has changed drastically over the past few months. A few months ago, it was burst mode. Then they nerfed burst mode into the ground and buffed automatic mode, so automatic mode was the one you play. Then they did some weird tooling around and made mag dump overpowered. With that whole play cell, spamming deft hands. And now, I'm pretty sure we're back to burst mode, because burst mode has good damage and simply by far the best range out of any of the other two modes. There's, there's the, the thing they're trying to do is make it so that you do have situations where you want to swap between modes, but they have never once succeeded at doing that, and it's so sad. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's just... Uh, he's a very questionable yeah, champion design. Pajamas. I would recommend playing burst mode, personally, because uh, it's just the most consistent, most reliable, and it also lets you get the best tempo going with seven, where uh, the reason why having a slow fire rate like that is good, right? Just burst, wait, burst, wait, burst, wait, is it allows you to use your abilities comfortably in between weapon shots. So you get a nice rhythm going. It helps you play better, in my opinion. It's just, it's the most sensible one. Mag Dump has ridiculously short range now, uh, so it's pretty hard to get consistent damage out of that. And then Automatic Mode has high damage, but really bad range as well, so. Thank you for the Prime Sub, by the way. appreciate that. Let's go again. And uh, we do still got to do a bunch of shielding today. What else do I even have to do? Damage and heal players for a total of a million health. Okay, so I can still heal. Uh, expend 150,000 ammo. Okay. Um... <laughs> Chat, I know what we can do. We can play Erlenmeyer's Shield Rom build, and we can get 8,000 shielding in the match, and heal and damage players, and expend ammo all at once. Brilliant. <laughs> yes! First time chatting, seven hurts my existence. Dude, same. <laughs> it's also funny that someone comes into my stream asking me for seven advice because I'm the president of his hate club. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The expend one is hard. Yeah, the expend one, you just have to play someone who does a lot uh, of just consistent spraying of bullets. Rom is literally the best champion in the game for that. Ruckus is a better champion if you want to play a better character and still expend a lot of ammo. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Ruckus and Rom have the exact same fire rate. The only difference is Ruckus has a less, you know, less ammo pool. Uh, but yeah, they're basically the same. So, those would be the two best options. Easy peasy. The, the furthest thing you would want to play from that is someone who doesn't have ammo, like a Zahn, or someone who has very low ammo count, like Pip. Very slow fire rate, you know, one shot per second type of deal. <laughs> one shot per second, yes. Let me spend 150,000 seconds trying to uh, complete this quest. Genius. I played a full match of ROM and only got 1% from it. See yeah, because you're only going to get a few thousand per match. Choose it's going to take a champion. long time. Let's just see what we can do this Make match. Your your own. Let me bring out... Uh, let's use Heat Sink. Let's warm up the Tundra here. Such a legendary skin. Love it. And I don't have to solo tank. Thank goodness for that. They do have a lot of very consistent high-powered damage, though, so... um. That's going to be slightly awkward, but on the bright side, playing a shield build means, um, in this circumstance, it, it means a lot of extra health, and we don't have any other shields, so if they buy Wrecker, they're only buying Wrecker for me. Kind of funny. Yes, Eevee would be perfect for 150k. One shot every second, six Open ammo, the then you have to reload. Genius. Well, I'm sorry, is Rami even good? No, he's not I'm good. <laughs> not he, He's probably the worst tank right now. But um, for this quest, absolutely. He's the best for this quest of expending a bunch of ammo. So yeah, we'll do Subservience. We'll do Erlenmeyer's goofy shield build. Which, yeah, has shield cards. So that way we can get the shielding quest done. Very silly. Uh, and then we will... Okay, so we need Kronos. We need Morale Boost. Or not Morale Boost, excuse me. We need Master Riding. Because this map... Probably need some armor plating, but that means we can't do Guardian Sentinel, which is kind of the funny stuff I want to do. I might still do Sentinel, because Omens Field slows. Five, uh, four, maybe it'll help versus Constant Knockback. I guess we two, can test it. One, 
And because I'm playing Subservience, I'll get eliminations for every kill that happens in the match, and so I can consistently proc that shield, and that'll help me with a shielding quest. And it'll be very silly. This is uh, definitely not a meta strategy. Don't do this in ranked. Please never do this in ranked. But um, <laughs> we're just goofing off here. And now I'm dead. Yeah, that was a very bad idea. Why did I do that? Don't do that. Mm. 41.7 hours of shooting if you do one every second. Jeez. That's crazy. Also, I just healed those guys from spawn somehow. I don't know how a soul charge got back there, but okay. Maybe this. Hello, Ray's barbecue sauce. Yummy. Alright. <laughs> Um, let's maybe be a bit more tactful about my positioning here. Instead of just blindly charging the point like a dummy. Oh man, he actually got that kill, dang. That's crazy. I'm probably dead now. Yeah, they just have too much damage. Okay. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> dang. I thought Caspian had that. Uh-oh, Dredge. Okay, the beam didn't come your way. You're probably dead, though. You have a portal? Oh, you got the kill, but you're still dead. Okay. Yeesh. <laughs> Andrew Chicken is promoting shield run for ranked. Ah, yes. Twist my words into the exact opposite of what I said. Thank you very much. Good job. Alright, let's wait for Cauterize. Let's just get that big burst of health up. And... Do some damage. And expend ammo. And literally just never stop shooting. You know, uh... Ammo spam build would be pretty good for this as well. Also, I have to wonder, does the infinite ammo portion from Ignition actually count towards the quest? Because it's technically not consuming ammo, I don't think. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> In between a stun and a time bomb. Alright. Yippee, I love spreading misinformation over the internet. Oh. Yay, huzzah. Let me get some armor plating. Let me get an actual serious item on, instead of Sentinel here. Just get that EHP going up. I get the feeling Khan wants to ult me soon. I'm just going to run around and see what I can do. Meow, kablooey, and that's going to go right over his head. I failed to consider that. Whoops. Can you tell I haven't really played much ROM recently? <laughs> Uh, great. Oh, shield saved my life. I have to run away. I have to run away. Ah, uh, there's my healer. Let me pop my own heal there. And... Oh, no one's actually coming over there. Okay, well, you know what? Bit of flank Rom never hurt anybody. No, I mean that quite literally. He doesn't hurt people. He's Rom. My entire team is just dying, man. I'm trying to run like that. Holy crap, I'm so squishy. Look at all that damage. Jeez, man. Ah, yikes. This is just the damage diff. They have just so much more damage than us. <laughs> ah, they even have Storm Bullets Khan. Their tank is doing more damage than our tanks, too, because he's Khan. Gah. <sighs> Make Rom immortal while ulting. <laughs> Uh, I, I, we don't want to overbuff Rom, though. That's the thing. He needs buffs, but I don't know about that. Capture point spawning in you could also maybe consider seconds. a damage buff. I, I, I get not wanting to buff, like, the range or the spread. And I don't think it should be buffed, because, you know, it's a minigun. He's supposed to get up close to people. But, you know, on release, he did used to do, what was it, 44 damage a shot? 10% more damage than he does now? It was pretty scary, but, I mean... In today's economy, I think it would be fine, especially considering healers are a lot stronger now than they were when Rama was released originally. So he has a lot more sustain he has to chew through. But of course, if they decide to test the uh, healing change they were going to do last BTS, maybe that would be enough. Maybe the damage buff wouldn't be necessary. Because I guess we're just turning this game into a pillow fight. I don't know. Oh man, she's getting so much healing from that Furia. I'm just going to run. Oh boy, what are they doing bringing out the Time Bomb and the Fury ult? No one's alive. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. I don't like anything about this right now. I'm running. I'm running away. I'm running away. Goodbye. Thank you, Saris. Let's group up here. Uh, Alright, let me do this. Let me get that extra health while I can. 
I need to try and run to point soon. So we're going to charge this up. We're going to go around the tunnel here. Pass the enemies and hopefully get touch. Although my run's going to run out. I'm probably just dead before I get there. Yeah, I can't touch point. Man. Uh, I think I'm going to not play Rom henceforth and probably do Ruckus instead. <laughs> I can get the shielding quest done. I can get the damage quest done. I can get the ammo quest done. All while playing a better tank than this. Oh, God. They're on massive streaks. Victor, Sky, and Fury have not fight once this match. It's so sad. Oh, Dredjolt fails. Does he have a portal to get out of there? No, man, you gotta set up those portals. Don't forget to press the portal button. I know I always forget to do that. Looks like you're forgetting to do it too. Oh, boy. Yeesh. Just tickling them right now. Here we go ah. Yo, thank you for that, Dark Wolf Seal. Six month streak, half a year. Nice. Ah, yes, infinite ammo, Vivian. <laughs> she has less ammo and a slower fire rate than Ram and Ruckus, though, so I still think Ruckus would be better. Ah, I'm just dead. I'm just. I'm playing Ram, dude. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's just end this game so we can play a better match than this. <laughs> Oof. Yikes. Is Seven still D tier? Oh, uh, I wouldn't say so. Uh, he's not up to like... I, I don't know where I would put him, honestly, right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Really feisty. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, I don't know where I would put Seven right now. Considering he's had such a tumultuous time in the balance department. When he was D tier, his burst mode was trash, and his cards were trash, overcharge was trash. He, he got a lot of nerfs, just back to back to back. But then he got a lot of that power back. So. But he's still not back up to where he was previously. He's just weird. Seven feels average now. Yeah, I'd probably put him like maybe C or B tier. If you're good at him, he can still be good, but I, I don't know. I think they're much more worthwhile flanks. You gotta open them. It might dox you. Nah, I know who it is. It's Feisty Jalapeno. Feisty Jalapeno is a dev who has changed his name to Andrew McChicken. Look, he's probably online right now. Um, no, no, he's not, but yeah, he's on my friends list. <laughs> Andrew McChicken. This is the fake Andrew Chicken a lot of people have been seeing recently. He changed my name to this on the PTS, too. So, he's really just playing the long game. He changed my name to this on the PTS, so now I have videos on my channel of my name being Andrew McChicken. Then he changed his name on live servers to Andrew McChicken, so now some people genuinely think this is the real Andrew Chicken, because they haven't seen my recent videos, or any videos really, of me on the live servers, where my name is my name. So, it really just played the long game. But I suppose also, while Feisty is trolling me here, I can exhibit... Um, why you should never, ever, 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 ever give me a gift. Do not give me gifts. Because look, small gift. I'm going to get nothing but event pass boosters. Medium gift. Nothing but event pass boosters. Large gift. Nothing but event pass boosters. Yeah. I already have everything in the gifts. So, gifts are a total waste of money. And while I appreciate the thought of people giving me gifts, I would much rather prefer you just spend your crystals on yourself. Uh, buy some chests for yourself. Don't waste them on me. I have over 900 event pass boosters. I don't need more, okay? Please. <laughs> I really don't. You can keep them. Also, I have some chests from the event pass. Let me do that. Eventful Avatar's chest, there's one more thing left. What's it gonna be? I actually don't remember. I don't remember which Avatar I'm missing. Oh, it's the Legendary Drobo's one. Okay, cool. And let's get the final skin as well from the Event Pass. Yeah, I'm maxed out, 36. Shinies. Neat. Okay, cool. Legendary. Well, Epic. let's keep queuing then. Here we go. Why not a thousand? He needs a thousand. No, I do not need a thousand. Do not give me chests. Do, do not give me... Gifts, please. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Never do it. Give gifts to other people who don't already have most of the skins in this game. Do not give them to me. Please. 
and bold. Also, if you ever see someone asking for gifts, posing as me, or any other content creator, really, that's how you know they're a fake. Like, no content creator worth their, worth their salt will ask you to give them, like, gifts and paladins or buy me crystals or something like that. No. That's just, that's a scam. <laughs> I, I, I published a poll on my community tab asking if people have seen a fake Andrew Chicken, and one person said they found someone doing that. Which, uh, not a lot of people, right? <laughs> but, uh... There is still a chance of that happening, so, yeah. <laughs> I make it very clear, never send me gifts. So if someone is Andrew Chicken asking for gifts, that's not me. <laughs> what if they're worth their pepper? Oh, I don't know then. Maybe. Also, I gotta get Brody out here real quick. Brody. Man, I'm there great. we go. Thanks for doing everything. Hi, I'm Andrew Chicken. I need gifts. I need a thousand event pass boosters. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's fake Andrew Chicken right there. Fake news. All right, what have we got here? Bright Marsh. Two tanks. We've got Khan, we've got Ruckus. Heck yeah, Storm of Bullets, Aerial Assault. Let's light these guys up. It's Infernal Drogos on the enemy team. Heck yeah. <laughs> and we've got four hit scans. All right, we gotta destroy her, chat. Let's go. Aerial Assault, Aerial Assault. No memes, no funny business here. We must destroy the lizard. Let's get some Kronos as well. Yes. Fusilade, Infernal Drogos, you stink. Where's the combustible? I want to see combustible. No, Swordsman, you gotta go... Swordsman. Swordsman. Don't do that. Drogos just battle. shoots above the shield. Play Storm of Bullets. Shoot Lizard. Lizard dies. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bad versus Drogos. <laughs> Leon's shield is. It's awful. It's not good. <laughs> Five, four. Ugh. Three, two, Alright, let's go. One. Storm let's bullets. Ooh, begin. he locked in the same items, though. That's ah, okay. At least rejuvenate is fine. Let's go up into the sky, and let's see where the lizard is. Hi, Infernal. I see you coming over here. With a lot of your cohorts. Okay. Do you know who would be less efficient at Oof. trials than Rom in every way? Healer Sky. Have fun, Andrew. 315 ah. despair. Oh, boy. Andrew, 315 despair. Yee! That's it, I'm off the map. <laughs> oh, gosh. I do not want to play Healer's Guy, but I appreciate the bits. Thank you. I'll do it for you. Infernal isn't even streaming. Oh, yeah. She's probably just uh, playing some games offline then, or maybe she's recording a video. I don't know. Fun fact, sometimes content creators play Paladins when they're not streaming. Because fun fact, some content creators actually enjoy this game. Even if not all of them do. Some of them do. Some of us play offline. Or not offline, excuse me. You can't play an online multiplayer game offline. Off camera, I mean. Okay, um, we don't have touch, sadly. Ah! Die. Bruh. Our Lilith is so defenseless right now, what are we doing? I need to do a better job. Koga's got the double, sadly he's dead. I need to heal up out of combat. So let me do that real quick. Oh dear god. Don't worry, I got this. Never mind, I don't got you this. You must embrace the healer sky <laughs> pouting. Okay, I will. Thank you for the extra bits. <laughs> ah. I don't believe there's really people who enjoy this game. I think we're just addicted. Ah, true. My paladin's addiction is going strong. That's why I stream this game three times a week. Make videos every day. Paladin's is just too good. It's stolen my soul. Oh boy, I need to get out of here. Why does it feel like we're lacking on damage so much today? Like, we're always just dead on this team for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just gonna let them kill me. Paladin's Rehab. Paladin's Rehab is ranked. Oh gosh. Paladin's Rehab is getting on any other high-quality uh, video game and just playing that instead, you know? I'm not talking Overwatch, right? I'm not talking another toxic multiplayer experience. No, just play a genuinely good game for once. You know? Solve your problem real quick. You'll realize Paladins is a piece of garbage! <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, dude. I can't even play the game. We have negative pressure right now. I don't know what's going on with our damage. But we have none. <laughs> we can't kill anything. Ah! 
Hmm. Warframe? I mean... I don't know, that's kind of a grind fest, even though I do like the game. I'm talking like an absolute classic. Like a game that's objectively good. Like, I don't know, Minecraft. Although some of the recent updates have me questioning, but like, you know, Minecraft objectively has some very good updates, right? Play that. Or, I don't know, play Half-Life. I'm still in awe of that series. I finally played it for the first time, like, a few months ago. It was amazing. <laughs> There you go. Star nine 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 donated three dollars. Oh boy! Since you're doing Healer Sky, let me add on Healer Octavia. I have the build for you. <laughs> Didn't realize you were doing time. champion requests today, but uh. You can even run the ship's <laughs> since you need shield. Okay. Also, I love your luxurious beard. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we can absolutely do that then. I thought I heard Vora Scythe. Okay. Apparently, I was hearing that in the total wrong place. I'm getting used to these headphones again. They're kind of echoey. They're a little bit weird. Definitely worse sound quality than my previous set, although the build quality of the previous set was certainly way worse. Oh, God! Ah, uh, I just barely died to that. If we just had a bit more damage into that dragon, I might have lived. We need more Kronos. And we are kind of holding on to this point right now, although Koga just got eviscerated by that root. Tyra's not looking very well. Stinky! Time to die. Goodbye. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. I sent her to Ohio. We have completed it. How am I dying so quickly? I have armor plating too. Well, Koga, you did get rooted and then dumpstered by a Spitfire Salvo combo, so that is a lot of damage. Nobody's really surviving that. <laughs> Alright, I need to just go in and ult. Most predictable ult of the 21st century. But you know what? We got one kill out of it. Put some damage into you. Got overtime touch. I just need my team to get some kills here and actually touch point. We have Khan ult. We should be using it. Pull her off the point. Khan, what are you doing? You gotta ult him off point. Mm, okay. Uh, well, thankfully Tyra's got reveals on that Drogo's over there. I'm not going after the Drogo's. I have changed my mind. I am... I've changed my mind. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go back to spawn, because my entire team is dead. I forgot my ult existed. How do you forget your ult existed? You're playing Khan. He has one of the best ultimates in the game. <laughs> You're Khan main. Ah. Re. Hello, Infernal. Alright, I'm going to go flank your team now. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh oh. Stop it. Stop it. I got my shield up. I'm just dead. I hate Storm of Bullets. I forgot Khan does Khan stuff. What the heck? Okay. I'm farming for Gus Prime. Gauss Prime. Just need his Neuroptics and Blueprint. I still don't have him yet. I am all caught up on the Prime frames. I got Hildren Prime recently. I totally missed that frame because I wasn't playing at the time. She's alright. It's Hildren. I've never been a super huge fan. Although I'm pretty sure Pillagers her subsumable ability. I think I forgot. I subsumed her and then I forgot I subsumed her. And then uh, I had some builds in mind that I wanted to make that I haven't made yet. Um, but yeah, I know Gauss is really good. Or Gus, as people say. Hello! Hi, how are you? It's me, Ruckus. Ooh, booyah. Uh-uh. Robot dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. I've been focusing more on other games, definitely enjoying my time, also focusing on creating a character. Ooh, a character, what for? Oh, well. Ah, up and over. Hi, what are you gonna do, root me? Oh, crap. Wait, 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 I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake, I regret my decisions. Okay, I'm fine. Tyra's not, sorry, Tyra. Uh, many mistakes have been made here. Alright, destroy the Makoa. There we go, good stuff. And looks like we're actually going to defend here, which is good. Ah, come here. Ah, missiles. No, the missiles don't kill. No. Okay. Ah. I got every prime in the game. Uh, currently, aside from Excal, obviously. Ooh, yeah. I was not a founder of Warframe. I have no Excalibur prime. 
I started in 2017. I don't know what that makes me in terms of Warframe. I feel boomer brained. <laughs> I don't know if I would be considered a Warframe boomer, or maybe like Warframe Gen X or something. Although I feel like people who were founders, who played way back then, would probably be more like the Lost Generation or something like that. They're ancient. Five, four, three, two, Let's do Kronos 3. One. Get some Reju for the Lilith. And we gotta win this right now. Otherwise, we lose the game. Comeback mechanic got some ults. Since we are doing let's hero do requests, let's see everyone's favorite support Corvus. Ooh, Corvus. Okay, I can do that for you. Absolutely. Inferno, how did you get back there? How did you get back here? <laughs> get wrecked! Ha! Loser, you thought you could bait me with that? Get pranked! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will swat you out of the sky. Come back here. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, we win that beautifully. Yes. <laughs> uh, I need to heal out of combat. Where's meditation? I need to buy meditation. I always forget. Best item in the game. Uh, that was beautiful. That was so fun. Okay, let me just spam some damage out. And maybe pop around here. Oh, not the roof. Can I get another kiss? Oh, Swarm that works. Okay. Let's pop around here. Hi, Vora. Yeah, yeah. I'm Ruckus. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Door stuck. Uh, okay. By the way, fun fact, uh, you can't actually go through here with Ruckus. He's too fat. He's too chunky. Not even if you jump up. Very sad, because other tanks can, but Ruckus just, just... He just can't. Too big. Okay. Dodge the root. Someone try and put some pressure out here. Very hard to track that. Ooh, Ying ult here. I hear that. Alright, I'm going to go around the side. I got this. Ooh, never mind. Okay. I can still get line of sight on her, though, and she has no idea I'm shooting at her, so she's just gonna die. There we go. Run the heck away. Oh, Lilith! <laughs> oh, that was meant for me. I just gotta keep walking it back. Run away! Run away! <laughs> no! Ah! Okay. Um, yeah, let's get some meditation. Let's get some... I don't know yet. I'll just save. Don't know what my final item to be yet. Rostar999 donated one dollar. What are the chances know. we could get you to do a random story-driven game stream like one day a month or something? Really flesh Ooh. out the content offered. Oh, thank you, Tyra. Uh, I don't know. If it's a paid-for game, the chances diminish drastically, depending on the price. Because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm doing a $60 game every month, that's a lot, you know? Um, I don't know. It's a thought. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Hello, Vora. Bonk. We got a tough point here, though. I will attempt to do just that. Ooh, the root. I don't finish that kill. It looks like we don't have it here. Big sad. We have most of our ults going in here, though. Only one we're missing is Koga. We still have comeback mechanics, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, <laughs> and maybe I'll try and ult Infernal Drogos again. <laughs> that was so funny. I gotta turn that into a clip. That was a YouTube short. That was amazing. Take flight. Ah. I think Moji also can't go through that. Yeah, probably not. Very chunky characters just can't. You would think Ruckus might be able to do, like, a little shimmy and just, like, yeah, try and fit in there, but... Yeah, yeah. Five, four, Not how this game works. Alright, let's go. And yeah, I think I will just pop around here again. We'll see if Infernal Drogos goes for the spicy ults again. Mind the root. Mind the hook. Mind everything. Run away! 
Oh, I didn't see. I thought I thought she was going after Tyra. Oh, rest in pieces. <laughs> Sadly, that one didn't work quite as well. You know, maybe I shouldn't have ulted there because I didn't know where Inferno was. Maybe she only figured out where I was because I ulted and it played a massive sound effect. Yeah, I probably didn't think that one through as well, did I? Nice. Boom, there we go. Let's get this Vora out of here. Nice. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, first, we're going to do some damage to Infernal Drogos. Then we're going up top, up and over. We're getting stuck on everything. Never mind, that didn't work. I was going to try and go after the Imani, but uh, nope. Hi, how are you? What are you doing, Imani? Stop it. All right, I need to go. Lilith has me. Thank you for those heals. Beautiful. I don't even need meditation. You saved me from using the best item in the game. I don't know whether to thank you or be sad. But we capped, so... I guess that's cause for celebration. Ow! Okay. Uh, maybe he is, but isn't smart enough to try it. Oh, Ruckus is just stupid. Is that it? <laughs> maybe. What should I do? I guess I'll buy morale boost. Ruckus' ult is amazing. We'll just do more of it. Sure. Okay, let's really group up here. Oh, Swordsman ran right into that. Where is she going? Ma'am. Oh, hello. Ooh, that's actually not fine. I got stuck. Okay. Ah, over the wall. I needed a heal, man. That's so sad. I shouldn't have died there. Oh, now we're all dead. Okay, Lilith, I'm going to try and protect you. Get out of here. Please. I will hold the line for you. Against the Vora. Do not get hooked. Man, we're both dead! What the heck? Why are they so aggressive? Where is everybody? We need more support back here, dude. Vora's slaughtering everybody. She's finally dead. Took long enough. Let's get Infernal out of here. Where did my shield go, dude? Oh, that wrecker. Man, how do they have so much damage? <laughs> I get hooked and I just fall over. I can't even ult. Even though two of their teammates are dead. Two of their damage champions are dead and I'm falling back. That's just crazy. All right, Imani, you're out of position. Time for you to die. Thank you. I'm going to push down that Ying. Uh, I don't know where she went. Oh, that's not good. At least she dies for it. Uh, okay. I keep forgetting Ruckus has 10% DR during ult is so insignificant. Oh, does he really? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it certainly didn't feel like it there. Ooh, hit that missile. That one didn't hit, though. Oh, that root did, though. Okay. Need to help with Cora. There we go. Annihilate her. Seven, six, Throw some damage back there. Let's not get rooted if we can. Stop. Oh man. Khan, you gotta hold this point. You're tankier than me. Ah. Okay, Drogos is dead. Drogos and Tyra killed each other. I'm gonna go around the side here. Need to put some pressure on Vora. Get her off my team. There we go. Gotcha. Throw some damage into you. Screw it. I'm going for it. Oh, Koga's dead. Khan is one. I'm one. Okay. Khan just needs to go to the swarm. Khan, go to the swarm! Ah, uh, you have legs, right? You're ambulatory. Ah, oh, I need to get off the point. Oh, man, that wasn't worth it. Okay. Uh, let's do... Probably Morale Boost 3 is my final item, then. I need to get that back as soon as possible. When does the season end in ranked? Uh, I think, like, a month or something like that. Two weeks, three weeks. They delayed the season start even more. It was supposed to be at the end of February, but they moved it to the end of March instead. Capture or sometime in March, anyways. I don't know when they said specifically. I don't remember. It was announced in one of those uh, Steam community post things. Swarm was behind me and I couldn't see it. Four, Look around! Three, two. One. When are you playing ranked? Well, when the new season starts. 
I'm not playing ranked in Season 6. Because uh, it's the end of the season, and I did play a few matches of ranked, just for the Crystal Storm, right? Need to get my free crystals. It was not very good. Just uh, proved my point that, yeah, ranked matches at the end of the season have terrible quality. They're abysmal, really. Stop it! Oh, Lilith's probably dead. Star donated one dollar. I'd be willing to drop some money for it. Just give me a cost when you find something fun for you and the community, and I'll send it your way. Oh. That's very generous of you. Well, we'll see. I'm still not entirely certain about it. All I know is we definitely lose this game now. We are just struggle-lugging out here. Very painful match, sadly. <clears throat> see what it looks like on the end stat screen here. Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully I still did reasonably well. 15 kills, 19 deaths, ouch. 17 kills, 15 deaths on Koga. At least he went positive, good for him. A lot of damage out from Tyre, but she went hard negative. The enemy team just stomped us on the killing front. 27, 20, 21. All three of their DPS went over 20 kills. That's how you know we were doing terrible. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's swap party. Let's see if we can get some wins under our belt here. I think we lost every match today, didn't we? Yeah, we lost every match today. Let's try and turn that around. So if you want to join the new party, say your name in the chat. Uh, Mace out of Windu. Silixer MC. Owinzi. And Leol PZZ. JK. Let me try that again. Uh, it's not working. Did you forget a Z? You did. I read your Twitch name. It had one extra Z. Apparently that was the correct name. Please accept your invites. Leol! Yes, there we go. Perfect. Alright, let's go. How are we looking on trials? Well, we're almost done for healing. Actually, I wonder if that counts self-healing or not. 250,000. I got 180,000 in the pip game. I'm guessing probably not Choose then. Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, it's fish markets. Um, and yeah, what do we need to do? We need to play Healer Sky, right? Because we got a, <laughs> a silly request for that. We also got Healer Octavia. Um, and yeah, we also got to run Corvus. Okay. So let's do Sky up first then. Even though it's... Healer Sky, uh, I'm not a healer. You you need to pick a support still, please, Steve. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Especially on Fish Market, I'm going to just be throwing this entire match. Really not doing us any favors for trying to win then, Time huh? Also, I guess I'll use the new skin. It's terrible. Why could we have not gotten, like, I don't know, sexy, like, Santa Christmas skin for Sky instead? Like... <laughs> you, you, you know the the generic stereotype, right? Of, like, some sort of Christmas skin you could do for Sky like that. Why did we not get that? Why did we get a freaking third recolor of a demon skin for Sky? What's up with that? <laughs> Why? Why did we do that? That was Whatever so lame. You want, Sucks, man. Right uh, Alright, well, uh, Smoke and Dagger, and... Yes, the healing build. Yes. Healing Vapors, Dissipate, Confound... Yes. We play video games, and we will also get some Chronos for maximum healing output, I guess. And we are also going to buy Bloodbath! Oh, no, we're not. We're not going to buy Bloodbath. Actually, what I might do instead... The battle is about to begin! What I might do instead is just rush Horde. So that way I can get Chronos, and then I also need Armor Plating, because that's Knessa, Koga, and Dredge. And also Infernal Drogo is on the Makoa here, okay. And, oh man, Five, we're going to lose. Three, two, yes. One. And so it begins. Okay, here we go. Oh, Let's just, stuff. we really need to play grouped up with the team. I can't flank with no stealth. So I'm going to follow Androxus here, and I will let him lead the charge. There's some poison there, and I'm instantly hooked, so let's hit in a way. Got the benefit from my smoke. Let me throw that down to try and save Nyx. There's more poison. Let's smoke from there to heal me. And there we go. Makoa's dead. Perfect. Looks like Nyx was indeed saved. So let me pop around here. 
Because I have a Knesset of Poison. Come here. Dissipate, go! Ah, that bonus damage feels good. I'm glad they buffed her damage back again. It feels so much better. Yeah, 39 damage at that range feels so much better, right? Where are you going? Dragon Fangs player, get out of here. There we go, do a little bit of damage to you. There's one cheeky poison. I can't get hooked here, though. Let's just play it a bit more safely. I'll continue to play around this side of the map. Just be cheeky, hit some poison. Oh, never mind. Someone just went off the map, it was the Koga. Is he throwing, or did he fail a rollout? I hope it's just that he failed a rollout. Suck if he's throwing. Oop, she knows I'm coming. She can't see me, though, not yet. Which means... Ooh, we can't take out the dredge yet, but Androxus has that. I was just playing like I was invis in that smoke bomb for a sec. I absolutely am not. Well, you know what? Take this bomb as my parting gift and, uh, die. Yes. Elixir, you got that. 1 HP and Makoa. Win. Yes, good. We might actually push this through. Wow. Okay. It's looking pretty good for us right now. Nyx is just chilling. She's got Ray heals. Nice, Saris is dead. That's their healer down, and we just cruised through. All right, wow, this is going a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> nice. Why are you flanking? You're the healer. I'm the uh, I'm the pocket for this Androxus. You know how I pocketed Androxus with Moji in a recent video? I'm pocketing Androxus with Sky now. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? Um. All right, and let's do Horde three. Max that out so we're efficient with our credits. And let's do Kronos one, armor plating one. Point in there we go. Seconds. Hmm. Leon's shield was never good since release. Vortex grip was good once. Storm bullets was always good. Four, yes. Three, two, one. It's interesting how Leon's shield is so much worse than Aegis Fernando, even though effectively they're almost identical me. talents. Yes. It's just that the nature of Khan's shield is a lot worse than Fernando's, because, you know, Khan's meant to be an off-tank. The shield he provides is just, you know, really small, and so it's not worth it to have it regen as much as Fernando's, you know? <laughs> She's emoting on me, as if I'm not trolling. <laughs> Fair play. Um, but yeah. Real OGs remember Firing Line, that glorious talent. Provide you and your teammates damage amps on battle shouts. And I believe also crowd control immunity for Khan himself. Oh man, that was so spicy. Ouch! Alright, I'm going down! Ah, Spike, watch out! That still hit me? How did that still hit me? I was so far away from it when I ran away. Ah! How? How? What is the range on that? Okay. Well, more Kronos. Jeez. Oh, it granted CC immunity to everyone affected by the shout? Jeez. Yeah, it was overpowered. <laughs> and then they removed it because it was so good when they were removing fourth talents for all the characters. Very silly. Ow. Stop it. Infernal Drogos, you need to chill. Ah, uh, why is Koga here? No, stop it. I was having a 1v1. <sighs> Terrible. Ray walked on it? Yeah, I know, but like, how did it explode and hit me? I was so far away from it. That was a huge explosion. We don't really have many CC immunity talents anymore, do we? Mother's Grace is the only one I can think of still in-game. We still have a few more. We used to have Heroism. I guess they got rid of that, though. Poor Heroism got nuked into the freaking ground. It's not just six feet under. It's like 12 feet under. It's dead. Dead, dead. There's also Formidable Fernando, although nobody plays it. Um, what else is there, actually? No, I'm struggling to think of it. In some cases, they also put the CC immunity into base kit. For example, um, Makoa used to only get CC immunity on Leviathan. Although that was actually... It was an interesting history with that change, because if I recall it correctly, Makoa, by default, had CC immunity on his ultimate. Then they got rid of it and put it on the talent. And then they took it back off the talent and put it back in base kit. For some reason. That was an interesting time. Uh, what else is there? 
Have I missed any? Oh yeah, Flux Generator brand new, that's right. Ying also applies one second CC immune when she uses her ults, yeah. That's not exactly a talent though, but yeah, that is a new form of CC immunity. Back in the day though, yeah, we had Firing Line Khan, we had Totemic Ward Grok is always the big one I remember, which was just so good. <laughs> Even though Grok himself was kind of always in a weird situation back when old Totemic Ward was a thing, because he only had one totem, only place that had his feet. It was a CC immune totem. <laughs> you put the totem down, everyone in the range got massive amounts of healing because he only had one totem, so the totem healed for a lot more. He had a card that gave percent-based healing on the totem, so tanks would get crazy amounts of healing. And then he had CC immunity on the totem. He was just the best support in the game bar none for pirates. <laughs> just have a bunch of tanks stacking on point, CC immune, barriers, lots of percent-based healing. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> Even though Grok is better now, like, that was still a fun playstyle. Not fun to play against, but fun to play as, for sure. I kind of wish it would come back. It'd be interesting if there was some way to implement it like that. Like, what if instead of Spirit's Domain being an aimed heal, instead it literally just restored? Okay, you have one totem with big raid uh, radius, and it does a lot of healing and provides CC immunity. Of course, it'd be hard to balance that and regular Totemic Ward as it stands. I don't know. Might just be a relic of a bygone era at this point. Anyways, let's queue again. Actually, let's not queue again. I need to take a build real quick for Moose Star. There we go. So is it the Dome Reset build, then? Big Dome time. You can even run the ship's talent thing, since you need shields. Oh, the shield one, right? And this is Leapfrog, so yeah, I guess this is the one. Cooldown, radius, yep. Alright. Pretty standard. Let's just go for it, and let's queue. Grox ult totem plus barracks ult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prior to the days of Rom, too. Rom would actually be a good counter to that, because he destroys all shields and deployables with his ultimate. Just shatter! Boom! No more pirates. Select a champion! Old players will remember when Thanks Grandpa used to grant CC immunity. Oh my god. I forgot about that. And I was around for it. Jeez. There are so many old talent designs in this game. There are some that I just straight up forgot about too that were really cool that Kana showed me. Uh, Octavia. Like, I, I do remember these, but there was Triple Jump Mave, and there was... Um, there was a really interesting talent, which actually, I learned something about it recently that I didn't remember from it. Which is, she had a talent where nine lives would heal for a little bit more, and it would provide you CC immunity, right? So you basically cleanse CC with it, or block CC with it. And, so obviously you could use it to preemptively block something like, I don't know, a, uh, a, a Sarasult. But also, if you were caught by a stun, or something like that... It was, I'm pretty sure the only time this was ever the case in Paladins, you could use the ability, while you were stunned, to cleanse the stun. Which was interesting, to say the least. So, if you got caught by, like, a Shaolin, uh, who back in the day would stun you against the wall and do massive bursts with Rapid Shot, if you were fast enough, you could get out from under the stun with the nine lives and then dash away, but you had to be really quick about it. But... That was a cool talent. You could bring back either of those talents, and it would be freaking amazing to just replace Street Justice with that. Street Justice needs to go. You have good enough talents that you can draw from, from Maeve's uh, talents back in the past. You could just bring those back. Triple Jump as well. Another thing I didn't realize about it was... Um, so, you all know when right, you pounce, right. you get your Everyone double jump back, up. right? You can jump it's again in the air. But it's and just I one jump. With the triple jump talent, talent, though, what would happen is you could use Prowl, jump, 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 pounce, and then you would have two jumps. So you'd pounce, jump, <sighs> jump. So you just had so many jumps, so much air time. It was actually a lot better than I even remember it being. I just thought it was triple jump. But no, it's actually triple jump and also double jump after pounce Soldiers, instead of single jump. I'm doing everything I can to not get in your matches and Paladins is not listening to me. It's okay, Infernal. <laughs> it's it's alright, it's fun. Uh, let me do... I'm not going to do the shield one, I'm just going to do... Uh, cooldowns, for maximum cooldowns on Asymmetric Warfare, and then this build, and then... Chronos. There we go. 
Maybe once knew how to fly like Drogos. Yeah, you still can if you get reset with Rogue's Gambit these days, and that's still very fun. But Triple Jump was also a very interesting thing. There were a lot of talents back in the day that really played to the mobility of characters. Pip could also double jump and weightless at one point with a talent, I'm pretty sure. Which, uh, that would be freaking awesome. I would love it if that came back. Okay, this is bad. Uh, let's try to be careful here. In general, I really like the idea of adding more mobility to this game. I, w I love mobility, as long as it's not something stupid. Like, seven with, you know, old spring-loaded plus terror action going on, right? That's just game-breaking. Like, all the mobility I'm talking about, triple jumping, double jumping with Pip, all that. The difference between that mobility and something like Terror 7 is Terror 7 is a burst of mobility that sends you literally across the map in just one go. Basically no skill required, although there is, like, the uh, seven, like, grappling near a wall tech to, like, vault over certain things, right? That's, I guess, interesting. But it's just, it's one extremely exaggerated, like, just crazy burst of mobility, right? Whereas these other talents is, I guess, more intuitive mobility, right? Where you can still play around it reasonably, especially if most characters in the game have some level of mobility, right? Like, it's all just jumping, what I'm talking about right now. Jumping is not a, a mobility that's going to break the game, necessarily, when you implement it in the way that those old talents did, right? Like, it's more grounded, right? It stays within the rule set of the game, of how far you can go in one burst. Like, even someone like Vatu, who's a recent addition, who prior to 7 had the best mobility in the game, his mobility was and is still much more reasonable in terms of understanding it and being able to play around it. And it fits within the maps, too. <laughs> Sometimes 7's mobility just completely breaks the bounds of the map, too, and it's like, oh, great. <laughs> and also, like, the, the nice thing about jumping mobility, right, in the form of, like, Maeve, double jumps, and weightless pip and stuff like that is it enables a lot of skill expression too like there are those very rare pit mains that exist that will just jump around and find the craziest rollouts using the knockback from their weapon and wall jumps and all that stuff to their advantage just going around doing crazy stuff i don't even know how to do that but i respect the crap out of it and it's all just movement tech and it's really skillful and it is rewarding and you can do the same thing with Maeve. It's a little bit less skillful because it's, you know, <laughs> it's more easy to access, I guess, but it's still very nice. Weightless double jump, weightless CC immunity, attack speed increase when healing with potion, current combat medic. Yeah, he's had a lot of different things. You know, I get that combat medic is kind of a spammy playstyle, but I still enjoy it. Might want Wrecker. That's a good point. I might do Five, it. Four, three, Although Unbound is actually two, probably a better one. decision here because they have a Root, I just realized, and also Atlas. So, yeah, that's probably a better call. Let me focus on the game for a little bit now. Instead of talking about cool talents. One last remark, though, is just that, you know, cool talent designs like that from the past make me especially sad when you see someone like us on. Who has no talents. <laughs> Tempering is like the coolest thing he has, and the rest of it, utter garbage, utter trash. Some of the worst talent design ever conceived of in this game, you know? Why am I missing Grover so spectacularly? What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, well, I'm banish. Throw that down, run the heck away. Die to Androx, anyways. Alright, goodbye. Ruckus used to have an interesting talent called Overdrive, deal more damage when on low health. I like the idea. It's interesting. I'm not sure it'd be a great talent design, though. Especially in modern paladins. Alright. Uh, well, this is awkward. I don't play Octavia either, so it's not like even if I focus up, I'm gonna do good all of a sudden. <laughs> She's just not ever a character I've enjoyed playing. I enjoy Ash from Overwatch. Like, the original Overwatch, not Overwatch 2. Nobody likes Overwatch 2, come on. That game is trash. <laughs> But yeah, you know, you'd think I'd like o Octavia, but I don't. She's just so much more clunky than Ash, I feel. You know? Plus, there's no Bob. And uh, Ash without Bob is a lot worse. <laughs> Bob completes the package for me. I love screaming at Bob and then watching him just go in. Cute little guy. Hello. Oh boy. 
Alright. Let me see about annihilating you. There we go. Good. Throw a bunch of damage into Atlas. He's got that wall up, so I have to retreat. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> Octavia was such a disappointment because she came out after Yag's release. I, I don't know how much that has to do with it. I guess, are you saying that, like, because Yag was so release, uh, so unique on release, it's a shame to see Octavia who's so boring? Maybe. They still have some unique ideas with Octavia. She's the only character in the game with four unique passives to choose from. I think that's a cool thing. But yeah, she's always been kind of clunky. Right now, she's the most fluid she's ever been. <laughs> like, on release, she wasn't full auto, and... Yeah, her ultimate would sometimes just despawn. Like, there are fewer cases where the ultimate despawns now. I remember there were bugs with that. Bugs with the distortion field. It's still kind of buggy, to be fair. Um, yeah, just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Yag set the expectation far too high. Don't forget she has old smoke bomb. Oh, yeah, right. And yeah, that was kind of unique. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> just not for me. You're wrong, we were so down with bloated kits, and that's why it was underwhelming post-nerf. <laughs> uh, my, my hypothesis is just that they spent so much creative time and energy on Yagaroth that, like, for the sake of not burning themselves out and not overworking and all that, uh, just to make the next champion, they made her a bit, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, simple and easy to program and stuff. Although, if that was their goal, in some ways they failed. Because <laughs> uh, I imagine programming a new set of passives wasn't particularly easy. Okay, well, uh, GG's. I got one kill. Yeah, I'm a great Octavia player, aren't I? Finally, we get to move to something I'm reasonably better at, and that's Corvus. So we're just going to hover. I, I just read hover on the mount, and then I said hover. I'm not hovering with Corvus, except in my ultimate. We're going to play Corvus. And then we're going to use the hover bike that just got redeemed. There we go. Speak English properly. Here we go. Uh, I'll use 8-bit today. Boom. Sati is so simple yet so effective. <sighs> kind of. It's, it's hard to say in some aspects that she's simple. I guess in some ways she is, but in some ways she isn't. Right? Like, you know, she has that whole pip thing, which adds to the complexity. She has two passives based on how many pips she has. I'm gonna forget the order of these, I'm almost certain, but I'm pretty sure it's when you're above the... Uh, when you're above four pips, you get faster fire rate. When you're below four pips, you get faster movement speed. Is that it? So that's kind of complex. I guess she's not as bloated as some other characters, though. But I also don't necessarily like the design of some of her abilities. I feel like she's annoying in many ways. Her pistol's certainly satisfying to use, but obviously Coin Sati is just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible playstyle. I'm not sure how I feel about Window of Opportunity, because on the one hand it is kind of funny to see people go to the moon, but on the same time it's kind of frustrating to go against. Because of the sort of pseudo-root effect that it has, you know? Because of how it plays with your momentum. I will save the realm, no matter. I don't know. The she's cost. just kind of weird. I will say, in general, I prefer champions from like the older days, where they have simpler kits, but a lot more diversity and loadout expression from their loadouts and talents. Right? Like more playstyles emerge from that, and you also have more sort of mechanical and game sense skill built up from the different ways in which a simple what ability can be used. The the like Pip's, Pip's Potion is a great example of that, you know? It's such a simple ability. You throw it, you explode it, and it heals. But due to the fact that it heals through walls, and how it interacts with the cards, and just how you have to heal with it in general to get the most healing, it allows you to have a lot of skill expression in terms of where you throw the potion, when you detonate the potion, trying to hit as many people as possible, trying to hit people through walls, timing it, the timing it with cauterize. There's so much skill expression, even though it's such a simple ability. And then you move to complicated abilities that have a lot of bloat, and somehow you get less skill expression on some of them? It's very weird. Anyways, I'll do spreading influence. 
I simplified my Corvus builds. Now this is just what I use with Corvus. Shadow Tribunal, Abyssal Affliction, Crushing Expeditions, Healing and Buffs. Very simple. And then as fillers, I have Healing on Abyssal Reconstruction and a bit of extra max health. And I guess it works. I don't know. I'm going to put the marks on those two because they're going in. And Zin might already be dead. I'm going to try and mark him. TP back. There's Rose a heal. Star nine 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 donated hey, thank you. Could you try out a max grip? But not on Genos or Khan. Grip on Omen. Oh, I boy. wonder how much you can abuse it. Also, where did you get your glasses frames? You want they me to play nice. Omen? <laughs> also, I appreciate that. I actually don't know uh, pretty much anything about my glasses frames at this point. I got this set of frames when I was... I don't remember. It was many years ago. It was probably over five years ago at this point. I have moved since then, and I don't even remember the store I bought them from in the first place. Because I picked them up, but my parents bought them for me. They figured out all the details there. I was I would have been like... I guess I would have been like 16 or 17 at the time, something like that. So, yeah. I can't tell much there, sadly, but I appreciate the compliment. When's the last time you got an eye exam? Oh, uh, well, I haven't actually done that in a while either. I still can see very well, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, going and getting an eye exam doesn't necessarily mean switching out the frames. I actually very much like these frames. Although recently... Okay, so you probably don't know this, but these are actually transition lenses, which are the type of lenses that, when you go out in the sun, they will automatically transition into sunglasses. I've actually been thinking about maybe going back on those and just getting normal lenses instead. Because... Yeah, they're, they're a bit awkward sometimes. Like, I used to enjoy them, but I find that I'm enjoying them less and less. The more, I guess, I've used them over the years. So... <laughs> yes, I was 55 back then. Yes, you're right. I was 55, now I'm 62. You're right. Uh, yes. Me and my old people glasses. Are they annoying? I mean, I, I, I feel like they're just kind of a... Uh, it depends on the person, whether you like them or not. You know? And, like, when I was younger, I thought they were the coolest thing, but now I don't know. Especially because I'm caring more about how I look now. Uh, I feel like they're just... Eh, I'd rather just have separate sunglasses, I think. So I, m I might go back and get those swapped out. As well as, yeah, properly get an eye exam, which I haven't done in a while because I've been slacking on that. <laughs> Partly because I feel like I can see just fine, so, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> My eyes work, guys. Did you know that? Yeah, you actually have to go outside to make use of transition lenses. That's another thing. Like, they don't work in cars, which, uh, yeah, is a bit annoying. Yes, Paladins is an old people game. You're absolutely right. That's why I, a 73-year-old... Uh, man, on his deathbed is playing Paladins right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, is she still chasing me? Uh. Oh boy, yep, she is. Die! Yes, Corvus Gaming. Uh, let me heal you, there you go. Team needs to be careful. I'm gonna pop over here to Owens. And heal, but Azan's sadly going to die. Leon's popping off, there we go. Nice kills, good stuff. Let me move Marks. Damn, 80 year old still playing Paladins. Yeah, it's crazy that a 90 year old would play Paladins. Like, you'd think a 90 year old wouldn't even have the dexterity to play Paladins, but here here I am. Oh, please live. Fellas, I need you to survive. Oh, a Winzy. Two, one. There you go. Huge heal. We're off the point. Where's our tank? <laughs> I had to step up point because I died. Ah! No overtime. Okay. Yeah, that's why I main Eevee. I want to feel young again, exactly, right? <clears throat> I want to feel young, like I have the uh, the reflexes to play a high school character. Yes. I'm surprised I don't have eye damage with having played video games since I was three years old. Wow. Three years old? What do you even play when you're three years old? When I was three years old, I'm, I, I, I can't... I, I'm pretty sure I was just banging plastic trucks around. I, <laughs> what? Three, two, one. I'm glad they stopped making characters. This means more stable times. Yeah, we'll probably get one more character this year. Because, you know, 
we're at 59 characters right now. That's a an odd number to end at. I think, you know, 60 and then call it. That'd be perfect. But yeah, I 100% agree. Allows them to focus more on reworks, balancing the game, doing talent reworks, revisiting characters that have desperately needed help for a long time. I think that's, you know, it might not be as good for bringing new players in because new champions do build up hype and encourage players to try the game. But it'll help the existing player base stick with the game and enjoy the game. And that, in its own way, can get some new players into the game from the sense of, oh, if you have a really happy community, they're going to tell other people about the game, and they're going to get people to play it. So, you know. That is its own reward for getting additional players. Oh, I can't see. I can heal, though, apparently. Not entirely sure what's happening right now. Oh, hello. Lizard flying overhead. We dodged that. Dead. Thank you, Asan. We don't have touch, though, do we? No, we don't. Very unfortunate. Crash Bandicoots and The Simpsons Hit and Run I played. They were my first video games. You can see back in my day we had a PS2, the revolutionary console for its time. Oh my. <laughs> it's funny that even though we're the same age, you started on PS2. I started on a SNES. Because that was just what my parents had, and they handed it back down to me. But I started on like a way older generation of consoles. Kind of funny. Okay, let me move Mark to a Zon. Need you to survive. I got a TP over here. Protect me! Hipstead, that's good. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't get my heal back in time. Let me just keep on throwing heals out there. Zon, get closer to me, there you go. Let me do a quick heal on you, heal everybody like that. Perfect. There you go. I actually need to get more Kronos. Um, is there a way I can do that safely right now without letting my teammates die? Probably not. I'll just wait. Remove that. Remove that up there like that. Readjust the marks. Uh oh. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have moved it off him. Oh boy. Ha! No. Okay. Well, I can buy Chronos now. And I will also buy. Uh. Unironic Sentinel buy? Knockback and a slow? Get an extra shield? Yes, let's go. Sentinel gaming? Sentinel in the building? Second best item in the item store besides meditation? <laughs> actually, I shouldn't say that. Meditation is actually good. Sentinel is only kind of good. <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm being ironic. I'm dead serious. Meditation is awesome. I love that item. Okay. You need to stop taking damage, sir. There's a heal. Let me mark you, just to give you a quick heal, and I actually like that positioning, so I'll keep the marks like that. And just keep throwing out heals. Alright, Azan, please live. There you go. Uh, let me mark you real quick. Aw, oh, you're still dead. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this away. It's just a Corp Assault. I can cleanse the CC. Keep you away. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're mostly fine for now, as long as I can stay alive. Let me reposition back over here. Makoa's dead. Still touching for now, but I think we got it. There we go. I'll get a kill, too. Boom. Nice. Team wipe. All right. Good stuff. Hmm. I don't understand. Do the, new, do the new trials give us free battle pass? No, no, no. They give you one free event pass level. It's poorly worded. I think they need to fix that. We all know your first game was hitting rocks with a stick and making unga boonga noises. <laughs> right. Yeah, back in the caves, that's all we had was some sticks. We had some bones after the hunt. Yeah, it was great. Ooga booga. Uh, Alright, let me do marks like this. Buy some more Sentinel. That's right, Infernal Drogos. I'm buying Sentinel just to counter you. How does it feel? Get pranked. You thought you were safe with your combustible? No, you're not. We're here to counter combustible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Aw, oh, grenade doesn't hit. See at least one person on the left, so let me position over here, especially since my team is over here. Uh, yeah, we should be doing okay. Let me start healing off a of Zon so I can heal Zin more quickly. I'm not getting hit by that. Never mind, maybe I am. I don't know what the heck happened with that TP, but it bugged out. I didn't go where I wanted to. I was in. Can't heal you enough. Very sad. Alright. Let me 
do that. We TP up here now. Our team is in full retreat. Let me put pressure on Pip. I need to run. Oh, crap. Is she still going after me? I think she is. Uh, oh, I need to heal Vic. There you go. Come on. The on ult misses, but at least she lives. Azan's going for touch. Let me get ult back there. Didn't really do anything. I still kind of wish Corvus ult also did a little bit of healing on top of it. On top of all the damage. Because it would at least give incentive for somebody to stay in the zone. <laughs> Usually nobody ends up staying in the zone. Sometimes Corvus ult is more useful for the immunity frames. It's kind of... <laughs> kind of sad. Uh-oh. Winzy, live. You'll be fine. I can heal you real quick. There we go. Oh no, not the knockback. I have Sentinel. Get pranked, bozo. Yee, okay. Um, I'll just DP anyway. <laughs> oh, that was on the roof, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. That was awkward. Uh, let's also do some nimble. Sure. Now we're talking. Okay, here's a mark. Uh, I'm gonna mark a Zon again. I think that's the best mark setup I can do, because the backliners aren't as in much uh the, the backliners aren't in as much danger. And if I need to I can just heal them directly. But it's important that Zon has the mark because he's the only tank, I need to give him the best healing, and then Zin is just deep in their backline. I can't even get line inside on him usually. Oh boy. E teleport there now. Time that. Hide behind the wall. Peek. Barely. Ooh, meditation would also be. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be my final item. I'm gonna buy the best item in the game. I have an excuse to buy it. I'm Corvus. I need to get some self healing. It's genius. Okay, here you go. Take that. Does he have ults? No, he doesn't. He's dead. All right, good. Mark you. Mark you. Go in. Uh, you go out. There you go. Have that. Uh, I'll TP over here, heal you real quick. We do have Drogos on the right. I don't think I'm going to chase that. I'm Corvus. I should not be chasing that. Not my job. Whoa! It's okay, I have Sentinel-3. That barely sent me anywhere. Epic prank. I hear Maeve. Ooh! Okay. Uh, let's buy some meditation. Yes. America is like seven or eight countries on one gigantic landmass. Oh, yeah. It's crazy that the entirety of North America is separated into three countries. And then you have Central America, which is like more than double. What is it, like triple the amount of countries we have in North America just on that tiny little like strip of land? That little isthmus. And then we have, uh... Yeah, and then we have South America, which is a reasonable spread of countries, honestly. Ten. <laughs> Ah! Nine, eight, Ow, stop it, please! Seven, six, Going over here. Five, I'm running away. Four, three, ah! Enemies, no! So many flankers! Uh, let me do nothing. I don't have enough credits. I'm so close to meditation, too, but I can't buy it yet. So sad. Let's just hope we can win this game here. Uh, let me do... Mark there, mark there. We have three ults going into this. None of them are particularly grand. And we have a Zahn ult. That's good for repositioning. We have Zen ult, maybe that can get a kill. My ult is effectively useless. I'll probably just use it on their tank, or just if I see a flank come around, and I'm scared. I don't really know. I basically have bootleg Azan ult. Even though Corvus has came first, Azan's is just so much better. He goes higher, he moves faster, his damage is more reliable to confirm. It's just better in every way. Uh oh. Oh, she's running away. Good job, Leon. You scared her away. Uh. Alright, let me throw this on point. Tank the, uh. Dragon damage first, though. Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Mark you. Where is Azan going? Playing awfully far behind, uh, far back. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna mark you, and then I need to mark you. 
Because Victor is now trying to be the flank. Uh, I got Pip over here. Nice. Let me just throw that there just in case. Uh, ooh, it expired the second I pressed it. Crap. That was bad. I knew I was going to need it, but I did it too late. Let's do Nimble 3. Oh, Zon just wasted ult trying to retreat. Now he can't use it to engage. That's GG. You shouldn't have done that. You should have used it to actually go in. Oh. Unfortunate. GG's. One final kill. Yeah. I'm not sure Corvus ult is fine, to be honest. It has a purpose to zone. It doesn't need to be really strong. It has impact, which is enough for me personally. And there is some tech to it for using it for CC immunity, which is cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it has to do anything crazy. I just think it would be nice if it did a little bit of healing, too. Like, imagine if it did percent-based healing. That would be so cool. Then your teammates would want to stand in it. The enemies would want to stand away from it. I mean, if Lilith ult can do damage and heal, why the heck can't Corvus's? It's an ultimate. <laughs> like, come on. Make it feel impactful. I think that would be nice. Well, unfortunate. We got five kills there, but sadly we lost. We're on a bit of a losing streak today, aren't we? I think we've won precisely one match today. Yeah. Need to step it up. Um, I have to play Omen next, sadly. So... Uh... Yeah, it was a max grip Omen build. How the heck do I even make that? I don't Jace. think I have one. So let me make one. I guess we probably just want range. Oh, there's not even a cooldown, is there? You can't even really do max grip omen that's not a thing he doesn't have a single cooldown card apart from gloom okay <laughs> well void choke probably isn't worth it because i don't think it does a lot of damage i guess 25 percent extra damage how much does it do anyways what is it like 300 400 damage yeah that's probably not worth it so i might do that the thing about wrathful descent is is that even worth it? Because if I'm using a shotgun, aren't I going to just throw them farther away from the shotgun to make it harder to hit? I'll probably use it anyways. To use Dark Leech. Actually, that's 275 over 3 seconds every 1 second. That's like 600 heal. That might be worth it more to use than Wrathful Descent, so we'll try that out. Max health as a filler. And... You know what? Fine. For thematic consistency, Void Choke level 1. <laughs> Uh, power cosmium? <laughs> Question mark? Um, okay, let's try it out. This is gonna be so terrible. I love new character cards, they are so useless. Yes. The name's I mean, don't get me wrong, they're interesting. I feel like Omen's cards aren't terrible. Some of them are, but I mean, Everlasting Vision is a good card. Wrathful Descent, I like the idea, I guess, except for the whole you know, ace energy with his shotgun. Um, Void Choke is just a weird card, considering it does so little damage and then it increases by so little. I don't know. Um, Dusk Trail would be better if the trail actually did anything, but it doesn't, so it's kind of useless. Uh, this card's fine. This card's... I mean, if, again, if the trail were useful, then this card would be fine. Five seconds of extra duration. I like the scaling. This card's fine. This card's a mess, balance-wise. This card's good, this card's good. Considering Lethality exists, this card's not good, because the scaling isn't high enough. That goes up to 25% for 4 seconds. That's not enough. This card is interesting. I guess you could use this with Umbral... Or not Umbral Lance. Uh, Binary Void. Maybe with Guardian. Might be interesting to try, but still probably not the greatest. Cooldown card... I, I don't know. Most of Omen cards suck, trust me. I think on paper, most of his cards look fine, but in practice, yeah, considering how Omen works, they become a lot worse. Ormo More is a crazy card. Yeah, it's just so awkward to balance. I think, like, there are a lot of really good card effects that you can give, but I think that cards that give increased damage in some way are just too problematic, and always have been. Kasumi's one was problematic. Omen's one is problematic. Every time they've tried to do that, or like with increased healing as well. Like, 
healing after using an ability and stuff like that is fine. Lifesteal cards, those are fine. But, like, there was a card for Grok that I actually talked about earlier, where you get percent-based healing on the totem for everyone inside of it. All right, let's get this and that done. card was mandatory. Beyond mandatory. It was so, 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 so mandatory. And, yeah. <laughs> I feel like cards that increase your healing output in that way as well don't really work. And I think the only way it could work is if you did it like how Lilith does it, where you have a bunch of different cards that all kind of do stuff like that. Um, but then the problem with Lilith is that most of those cards have such terrible scaling as to basically be pointless. Like, she has a card that increases the radius of the swarm, but I'm pretty sure like 10% at level 5. And it's just like, what the heck? <laughs> That's so small! Why? <laughs> oh, we got a skin request, sorry. I wanted to use the new skin, so I'm just gonna refund it. Sorry. <laughs> It's because all the new champions are really good at base kit-wise, so they can't give them really good cards like some of the old champions. Yeah, but I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that dynamic, you Because the point of Paladins is to have to play style diversity, but if all the strength comes from the base kit, and then you don't have good cards, then you don't have good loadout diversity, and thus the main selling point of the game is hampered. I don't like that. Anyways, I guess since we're playing with the Void Grip... We can do everyone dies, that's how we're going to get our cooldown reduction on Power Cosmium. <laughs> and then I'll get some Chronos, yay. So what does this do again? Hitting an enemy with Dark Stride now reduces Gravity Vice's cooldown by 50%, and the damage is increased by 100. So I dash into them to get another Void Grip. Okay. At least I get to use the new skin Shotgun that actually looks like a shotgun, I can appreciate that. And base Omen Weapon with no more, 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 no Umbral Lance. Get to actually have ammo, yes. Lovely. Alright. Uh. Ooh, I missed the grip on him. <laughs> I just sent that Makoa so far away. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I think I think conceptually the knockback card is interesting. <laughs> it's just a, a shame that, you know, he's shotgun based. But I suppose another thing is if you grip them with a brand, then your shotgun turns into the rifle mode. So you can maybe, I guess, kind of sort of have it work anyways. Like, you throw them away, but then you snipe them with it. Kind of weirdly. Omen's weird. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the idea of a, uh, like, a mirror champion or whatever Omen's supposed to be at this point. An echo champion. Like, the idea was interesting when he first came out, but in my opinion at this point it's just confusing and kind of cheap. I still sometimes, like, get Void Gripped and then surprised when I either get thrown away or don't get thrown away. Because, like, I don't know who's gripping me. Very weird. I'm going to die a horrible, painful death. JK, my team has saved me. Let me just throw that out. Suck on this! Wow, that did a lot of damage, didn't it? Push him away. He's going back in, though. Uh-oh. Eat my shotgun. That was actually a lot of damage. Void Grip, that should kill him. Yes, let's go. Sorry, Ray. Ooh, let me use the talent. Yes, there's that. Void Grip, off the map. Go! Yes! No, my kill got stolen! That actually worked! <laughs> okay. Well, that was cool. I hate that the dash sound effect is so loud. I need to yell at them to lower the volume of that again. I think I forgot to. Last time I've mentioned it on stream. It's way too loud. Alright. Got a Yang Illusion, thankfully. Oh! <laughs> that actually killed her. Oh boy. I don't like the dash without any dash distance, though. I feel like I'm missing that. Well, whatever. At least we push it through. Gee, Stay up there. Woo! I should upgrade my I mean, it's fun when he works, but he's so inconsistent. Yeah, I agree. Watch me. At least the rest of his kit isn't really too much like Genos is. I really think the Void Grip is just like... It flows well, and Omen isolated by himself with the Void Grip, I guess, is fine. But when you consider the fact that we also have Geno's Void Grip in the game, and you could potentially have both of them on the same team, it just gets very confusing. Capture kind of awkward, you know? Seconds. How dare you? I'm trying Knessa here for basically the first time. I'm sorry! 
I'm playing a goofy Omen Five, build. Four, three, I'm surprised two, that actually worked. I wasn't one. sure if that would throw you off the map or not, but I'm glad it did. It was a. Uh, it was for style points, right? Yeah. Don't worry. Just stay far away from me. You'll be fine. Because uh, I have a shotgun. You have a sniper rifle. We are not the same. Uh oh. Ah oh, man, I can't even hit her. Fifty-one damage. Oh. Hey, see, there you go. Just like that. Yeah, stay very far away. You win that. Good job. We need another Grok like ult, like a playmaker to push off or to turn the tides of battle. A lot of ults lately don't feel like ults. Uh, how true is that necessarily? I think back through the past few ults. I mean, omens conceptually could be, but in terms of the actual way they've done it, I would say probably not. Ooh, there we go. Decimated Buck. Decimated Makoa, though. Okay, there we go. Nyx ult. Yeah, I guess Nyx ult isn't necessarily like that, but I also like Nyx's ult because of the synergy it has with her abilities. I, I think it's still really cool for that, so I'm fine with Nyx's ult. Um... Woo! Okay. Thank you, Jane. Who is before... Nyx. Right, Kasumi. Oh, yeah. Kasumi. Um, for Kasumi, you had Caspian, which is basically like the, like Andro ult. That can certainly win fights. Although it's not a team play ult, necessarily. This was before Caspian. It was a Lilith, right? Hmm. Yeah, you might have a point. Fuck, stop it. Go over there. Over there, and stay over there. Take that. Hello, Knessa. Suck on this! Oh, that actually hit! Yes! I don't have enough Void Grip range, no! Take all that down. Void Grip. Ow! There's so much damage out here. Gotcha. I'm just getting in the fight right now. There's that. Void Grip away. Holy crap, you went so far. I'm dead. Alright. Kasumi ult is kind of odd power-wise from what I've seen with it. It has some counterplay, but it can also just be basically a guaranteed kill. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Knessa ult? Yeah, Knessa ults. I mean, some of the ults from back in the day also aren't, like, crazy, you know, team-wide just glory ults, right? Yeah, Knessa ult's another one that just amps your damage. Although it's also cool ultimate because it does, you know, really reward your headshots. Makes you feel like you're playing a powerful sniper for the only time in the match at this point. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Inconsistent shotgun there. Hit at least two good shots, so I'll take that. There we go. Point grip. Boom. Ah, look at those headshots. Oh my god. Headshotting Mako with a shotgun, the most consistent thing in the game. I love it. Void grip. Yeet. Gotcha. Uh, just blast you away. There we go. Off the map. Yes! And I get the kill this time. <laughs> and let me just throw that out as well. GG's. Nice. Well, I'm glad we actually got two environmental kills there. That was very fun. I think, yeah, Omen genuinely does feel best now when you don't use more, 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 and when you don't use Umber Lance. Crazy how they changed that around. I'm not talking visually, I mean in terms of team play, how it can be countered and its general power slash skill. Mm hmm. Yeah, it is nice to have team play ultimates like Grox. Or ultimates that just, that just have, like, different use cases. Pips is another good one. There are many different use cases for Pip ult, and it's very team based. Ult, but it can also be a good solo ult, too. And it's genuinely one of the most unique things in a video game. Like, just straight up. <laughs> I, I have not seen many other video games with an ability as unique as Pip's ult. Just straight up turn your enemies into chickens. That's freaking cool. Overwatch... <laughs> you know, Paladins copied Overwatch back in the day, but Paladins has always had Pip's ult. And that's always been so much more unique than most of what actually Overwatch has. It's so cool. I love it.
Drogo ult is pretty solid. Make a play to eliminate one player on the other team. Yeah, and it has a big wind up and all that to no let you know that it's coming so you can counterplay it. Yeah. Yeah, this game has its fair share of good ultimates. But uh, yeah, there's also... There's also like Vatu ultimate, which is... I guess it's also okay to have some smaller ultimates in the game. Like Vatu's ultimate isn't that big. 800 damage stun, but it's good for winning duels. Depends on the champion, I guess. But yeah, in terms of like a Grok ult, I mean, you have Grok ult, you have Furia ult, you have Ying ult, Fernando ult, those big like, you know, team push up attack moment ults, those. I guess, yeah, a lot of those are on really old characters. Should Moji be immortal while eating the cookie? She already is, if you know what you're doing. He's, he's had to make the uh, the cookie much more reliable. You press E, then you immediately press Magic Barrier. And you can actually cancel the animation of the cookie, still shoot the cookie out, but you're in Magic Barrier while you do it. And you want to do it, of course, while the enemy is distracted, so that way you can actually get close to them. Because you won't have a movement ability for it, right? But uh, yeah, with that tech, you can very reliably eat the cookie. I do that a lot in my Moji gameplay. Just go watch one of my Moji videos. You'll probably end up seeing it. Uh, alright. Ascension Peak. I don't have any other donation requests, so I guess I can get back to doing whatever I want. So, let's play another shield character. You know what? It's bullying time. Torvald. Torvald time! Let's go! You want to talk about another cool ultimate? Torvald's ultimate is freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. I used to not be as much of a fan of Torvald's ultimate because I used to only consider it for its viability for getting kills, but y you have to break out of that mindset. It's not just used for getting environmental kills, it's also used for stopping Time enemy pushes, right? <laughs> it's a very powerful anti-dive ultimate because you can blow enemies to the other side of the map. Uh, you can get it people off point, you can push them away, you can push enemies out of position. It's cool. Why does DPS Eagle get VIP and I don't? Here, you can have VIP too, Jiki. How does that sound? Uh, boom. Is Stealthy VIP as well? I gotta make both... Uh, I gotta make both EV mains oh, VIP. Because <laughs> they're EV we mains. And we uh, we stand EV mains. Limb from limb. <laughs> Is it that? It doesn't enable to add VIP. I don't know. Torvald right before you cat point. Means you can prevent the other team from contesting. Yeah. And yeah, in terms of aesthetics, it's very cool aesthetically and visually. And very satisfying when it works. And it is very, very satisfying when you get that quadra kill, right? Alright, uh, I'm just going full angry grandpa. Direct current, null and void build. We're just going to walk at him with the might of Torvald. And it'll be beautiful. And we will destroy them. And we're going to rush at them so hard that we're going to buy Nimble. And it's going to be beautiful. Let's go. Alright. 6100 HP Torvald. We're going to buy Guardian as well later. They are going to buy a lot of Racker though. So maybe that's not the best plan? Ah! I got... I got tripped up there. I thought I was going to get thrown. I didn't realize that was Genos and not Omen. Because I didn't pay attention to their comp. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Why the heck do we have two of the same ability in this game? Ah. Be denied by death. Well, the entire team went to the right. I was the only one on the right, so I'm instantly dead. Let me actually focus that time. Realize who we're fighting here. Nullify. Boom, there we go. Lock down that kill. It's bullying time. You've really pissed me off now with that first kill. I will not be first blood as Torvald again. Uh, let me just push back Barrack here. Get the Nullify, so no shield. He's very low. Does he die to Tyra? Yes, he does. Actually, I Fernando, but basically the same person. <laughs> yes. There's a shield. And it's time to say goodbye to everyone back here. Boom, boom, nullify, and lock down that kill. Yes. Torvald in the house. Boom. Torvald's ult is more forgiving than Io's. Yeah. The only bad thing about the ult, in my opinion, is the fact that, you know, they finally added the CC immunity to it, like, a year ago. Which we've been asking for for a long time. Didn't always happen. But they added the CC immunity in such a delayed way where you don't get it on casting. You still basically can't use Torvald to reflexively block like Sarah's ult, BK Sun, etc. 
I don't know why there's such a huge delay on it, honestly. I think they should change that. There's a shield up there for ya. Um... Oh, he just nuked Ying. Okay, that's bad. He second locked down Koga. Max out Nimble and... Actually, no. I'm gonna get Guardian 2 instead. Force them to buy even more Racker for me. Get more self-sustain for me. I have basically 7,000 hit points right now. I mean, what the heck. <laughs> Torvald's so strong! Yes! Oh, that's cool. Now do it all again. Let me give you a shield. I don't have DPS backing me up right now. You can also use it for its damage to push someone into a wall and lock down a kill, just like that. Absolutely worth it to get that Koga. Make sure he dies. Hi! You cannot 1v1 me. You are incapable. You're playing Victor, I'm playing Torvald. We are not the same. Alright, let's just walk at this guy. Dome shield, don't care. Dome shield, more like loser shield. Oh! Oh, get wrecked. Nope, nope, no, nope, no spawn. No spawn. <laughs> I am Torvald. Ooh, I might die here. Void grip. Ah, uh, that would get destroying me. Let's get some unbound for it. <laughs> That's the only crowd control they have on their team, and I have to buy unbound for it. Gotta love it. He's just gripping me in front of, in front of three people. I mean, I have to. Uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't save her. I popped the shield, but it wasn't enough. Okay, well, let's just group up here then. Let me recharge. Maintain my 7,000 HP. I should buy Veteran as well as my final item, just to be extra, extra, extra tanky. Although I would sacrifice cooldown reduction for it. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. It'd be funny. I might do it just because it's funny. What are you doing? Oh, Koga's here. You're leading me into an ambush, I see. Well, you forget to realize that I'm Torvald. Mate. Mate. I'm Torvald! This is my absolute last request of the day. Let's All get right. as toxic as physically possible. Max Salt Talus. Ruin as many players day. Be the bad guy. Embrace evil. Put That's pineapple not... on pizza. <laughs> That's not even that toxic, I wouldn't say. But, uh, yeah, we can do that, absolutely. I haven't played that in a while. It's an interesting play style, for sure. Ah, oh, man, that was painful. I don't know where our damage champions let, went. We just kind of had me and Fernando up there for a while. I guess they died. I don't know. An ultimate that allows the team to jump higher would be cool. Like, sort of moon gravity or something like that. Or like maybe, I don't know, some sort of passive effect or like ability you could use that lets them just go extra high. Envelop kind of does that with Ray, But, uh... A more consistent jump boost than that would be kind of interesting. Like, a buffer support that applies movement buffs would be really cool. Like, imagine you could put one buff on a teammate and it gives them movement speed, you apply another buff to a different teammate, and it gives them jump height, but you can't apply the same buff. That was wide out in the open! But yeah, you can't apply the same buff to the same teammate, so you have to choose who it's best to apply to. And then, like, they're another utility support, so they don't, like, heal bot necessarily, but the buffs are powerful that they provide. And then maybe their ultimate can be, like, a different form of, like, ultimate. That's kind of like Fury's ult in the sense that maybe you can give damage bonus, but give damage bonus in a different way to Fury ult. Like, maybe you just channel some powerful beam, like, just straight up, I don't know. <laughs> Copy Medic from TF2, give them, like, Crits Krieg or something. You do bonus damage, I apply the beam to you, you do bonus damage and move faster, and, I don't know, get, like... 20% DR or something. Enemy killing spree. We need more utility on our supports. I'm tired of supports just being healbots. Whichever support heals the most is just the support that wins most of the time these days. It's very sad. What are you doing? You are Koga, my friend. You do not win. I am Torvald. Never take 1v1s with Torvald. Never, ever, 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 ever do it. Never take a 1v1 with Torvald. Just don't. Don't do it. Stop it. It's not how you win the game. Ah, there's a thing for you. Okay, I'm just gonna go back here. Let's do that to you. Stop generals for a little bit. I'm just gonna walk at him. 
He's void gripped. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep pushing him back. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Worth it. Worth it for the funnies. I heard Tiberius jump left. I'm gonna pop over here just to make sure everything's fine. Oh yeah, he's trying to be sneaky. Hello. Yeah, that's right. I heard your leap. Dude, you don't scare me. Oh yeah, they're behind us. Get to the point! Sadly, I'm Grandpa. I forgot my cane, so I can't really walk that fast. Uh-oh, Vora's dead. Uh, please tell me Koga's not gonna wipe Ying, too. Let me give you a shield so you can fall back. Ying, touch the point! Alright, I got this. I'm gonna cut him off. Boom. Solve the problem. But now, we're not really looking super good here. Try and stay safe, Tyra. Let me recharge. Uh, which side are you going, Tyra? Okay. Oh, shield goes to Vora, then. Oh, she's dead, too. We can't have our DPS be staggered here. Okay. Nullify just to stop that. Lock you down. There's a shield. I'm gonna try and break Tiberius if I can. There's a Nullify. Boom. Shield for you. Koga, stop pretending to be a good character. You're not. I'm Torvald. I love this champion. <laughs> I'm so mean. He's just such a meanie. Hello. Ow. Okay. Fernando, put the shield up. No. Okay. <laughs> Andrew is playing the guy closest to his age. No! Stop it! Uh, max out Unbound, max out Nimble. I'm close to an ultimate, so if all else fails, I can use that. To defend. But I don't think we need to. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Nullify. Boom. Perfect. Alright. Well, I can try and use my ultimate to stop a push. Or I might try and get some kills with it. We'll see what we can do here. I'll probably go left, actually. Who's your favorite off-tank to play? Right now, my favorite two are probably Azan and Torvald. They're just such bullies. And I really do enjoy Azan. He's one of my favorite characters that's released in the past few years. So... Capture point spawning in 15 yeah. seconds. <clears throat> uh, Makoa's my highest level off-tank. And I do also really enjoy Makoa, but I haven't been playing him as much recently. Five, four, A support ult three, that resets respawn two, cooldown? Oh boy. One. Like, for eight seconds, anyone who dies respawns Step instantly? That's an interesting way to kind of have a resurrection ult without having a resurrection ult. Because, yeah, you would kind of resurrect them instantly, but they'd still be in spawn and have to ride their horses back, but they'd get to the fight faster. That's interesting. Uh, Alright. Go away! Go away! And he dashed back and he gets nullified. Yes, there we go. Stop the push. And let me pop back here. Help kill you. There's a shield. You use Void Grip, which means you can't run away yet. And now that you're trying to run away, you get nullified. Shoot him! Yes, DOT finishes. Good job, Fernando. Alright, we got it. Huge. Stop it! You're playing a bad character! I'm Torvald, I'm S tier, you're Koga, you're like B tier. Go away. <laughs> okay, maybe A tier, I don't know. I don't know what tier he is right now. Huge Torvald gaming, though. Hi. Victor, are you gonna come over here now? Where are you going, Vicky? Oh, you just ran away. You can't face the might of Torvald. Good. Know your place. <laughs> I get that Torvald's, like, busted, but I don't care. I've always been a Torvald enjoyer. I, I uh, played Torvald when he first came out, and he instantly became my favorite tank back then. <laughs> he hasn't always been my favorite tank throughout history, but uh, I love him. He's great. Why don't they just rename the support class to the healer class? They aren't doing much other than healing. These days, yeah, I guess it kind of seems prudent, doesn't it? They shouldn't do that, though. Instead, they should put the support back in support. I say. Hi! I bought Unbound, you can't void grip me anymore. I'm truly invincible now. There is no stopping me. Victor, you can't stop me. Don't even try. Recharge. Actually, I'm gonna pop around here. 
Uh, hold on. Might not be the best time to do this. Our team is retreating. I was gonna maybe try and go for an ult. Still gonna play on this side of the map, but we need to push them back. Need Fernando to go up main, and then I can go around the side and blow them away. With my super impressive leaf blower. Or a Tyra ult. That works. And bam! Oh yeah! Let's go! That's two? Oh, no, wait. Tiberius might be coming back. Well, um... Yeah, Tiberius did make it back. Okay, I guess I only got one with that, but we still win the game off it, so... Let's go. GG's. <laughs> I love Torvald so much. That's amazing. <sighs> what are you doing for the ammo challenge? I recommend playing Ruckus for the ammo challenge. Rom is also good for the ammo challenge, but Ruckus is just a better champion, and they both have the same fire rate. Ruckus will just have to reload a little bit more, but you want to play someone with a very fast rate of fire and a lot of ammo. Other good options if you don't want to play those tanks would be someone who just has, you know, a fast repeating rifle, like Victor, Tyra, Genos, etc. Talus, yeah. 19 and 5, though. Let's go. Popping off as Grandpa. Best tank ever. Yes. Uh, how are we looking here? Let me check the trials real quick. We are ha about halfway done with the siege matches. I'm not completing that today. Need to play one more shield match, capture more points, play more matches. Still need to do some damage, and I still need to expend a bunch of ammo. Ah, which means I need to play more fast firing champions. Torvald's not fast enough. We need faster. Uh, and let's also swap the party. It's the two hour mark now. So if you want to join, say a name in the chat. I'll invite you. We will do EV main, by the way. 5964. Alright. Uh, Kitten 08. Wero. And. Sure. Sure thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I believe I still have a max ult Talus build. Where is it? Where's Talus? The child. There Talus. he is. Uh, yes, I do. Dark Vision, Evanescent. Uh, max health. That's basically all it is. Do I really want 5% lifesteal? Is there a better filler card than that? Uh, I mean, I could get double value out of Perseverance, but only when I'm low. Might be better to go for a cooldown or duration card instead, honestly. You can increase the duration of Overcharge? Oh, I didn't know that. Also, that's a really pretty picture. <laughs> Just a statue of Makoa. That's actually kind of dope. Um... Probably just do this, then. One second of duration on Rune of Travel sounds better. Just give me that little extra time period to get a kill. And yeah, the we basically we get ultimate charge for punching Talus. people, and then we're also pairing it with nothing personal, which increases our ultimate charge rate by 15%. And then we're going to buy morale boost to increase it even further, and we're basically going to spam. Uh, and that's also why having Rune of Travel is so important, because you need Rune of Travel every time you ult. Otherwise, you're going to get trapped in a terrible position, usually. And yeah, it also provides a 65%, or it provides a reveal on people below 65% health, which is actually pretty powerful. I feel like if Paladins were a more competitive game that had a proper competitive scene, I feel like nothing personal would be a use a lot more because of the intel it provides, you know? If you actually were able to communicate with your team and reveal low HP enemies like that, I feel like that is really powerful. But you just can't use it in your average casual match because you're not communicating with anybody. And even in ranked, it's hard to use that. It's one of those talents that would be really, really good if, in, like, scrims. <laughs> uh, with good team play and coordination. It's a relic of that era, and by golly, I do miss parts of that era. <clears throat> yeah, we still have some scrims and some community-run tournaments, but... There really isn't as large of a competitive scene in this game as there used to be, and I'm so sad. Even though I personally probably wouldn't participate in the competitive scene, I'd probably just be a spectator. It's still, it's such a good thing to have. Hmm. Or get a pre-made party that communicates. Yeah, true. If you want to get some friends together and try that out. But yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh... Yeah, it's one of those talents that's, I feel, really only bad because this game is sadly not a super team-based game in terms of actually professionally coordinating, right? 
And I am officially out of coffee now. So sad. I think there's a new Paladin's competitive tourney launching, Paladin's Prestige series. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm I'm glad people are still hosting tournaments for those who, you know, want it. I feel like they should get more attention, though. Like, there should be more advertisement for them. I'm welcome to advertise tournaments as long as they're run by people who aren't toxic and people who actually have an idea of what they're doing, right? Um, Because, yeah, like, tournaments are great. <laughs> Maybe the way I would participate in a competitive setting is I would be the caster. I feel like I could do a good job of that. <laughs> I wouldn't be the player. I would just, uh, I, I'd be that guy who does the casting. I'm fine with that. I beg you to answer me. Are you doing a sumo stream? I'll probably do on Friday, yeah. What am I doing again? Oh, right, Talus. Uh, boom. Talus! Hmm. <clears throat> Yes, all the PPs. Yeah. PPL, PPC. Mm -hmm. I'm glad there are still archives of the uh, tournaments from back in the day on YouTube. Because it's been fun for me to go back and watch some of them. It's also interesting to me to watch some of those tourneys from back in the day. Because in some ways, right, yes, the skill level is very high. And still is very high. But at the same time, some of the like plays that I see are like... Looking at them with future eyes from, like, six years in the future, it's like, in some ways, they almost seem a little bit basic at the same time. It's a weird feeling. But, yeah. Still a blast. <clears throat> like, this game really does have the potential to have some really competitive stuff going on. Yeah, it's mostly a casual game in 2024, but, I mean, yeah, it's a team-based game with a lot of customization, a lot of builds, a lot of interactions, and a lot of room for team play. Some of the PNCL players aren't that good don't because they only worry, got the title from playing worry. it. The yeah. <laughs> I, I I have run into a few PNCL players, and I play against them, and I'm like, oh, yeah, they definitely weren't the winners of the PNCL tournament, were they? <laughs> Ooh. Not going to name names because I can't name names because I don't even remember because I don't know who played in the PNCL. I just know the title. I see the title. I beat them, and then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> cool. I feel like there's not as much prestige in that title as there is in the PPC or PPL titles. But it's so cool that they got titles, you know? Like, I like the idea of Evil Mojo getting involved with these community tournaments in some way, shape, or form. Again, as long as they're well moderated, right? Because sometimes the competitive scene can get toxic. You want to make sure to try and avoid that. Alright, let's go. Ult spam Talus. Heck yeah, nothing personal. Reveal the enemies when they're low. Have maximum ult charge. Let's just go in. We gotta remember to punch people in the face to get the ultimate charge. Uh, she jumped over it. Okay, let me just teleport away. Um, man, look at that reveal. That's so disgusting. I know exactly where Saris is. I can blast her. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'll just try and overcharge you a little bit. Alright, this is going to be risky, but I'm going to put the portal here. I see that Leon. That reveal is just disgusting. I know exactly how much health she has, too. I don't even think Lex gets that on his reveal. He just knows where they are. Ooh, you got healed. No! Okay. Is she Street Justice? Oh, no, she's not. Okay, chat. Maybe host a tournament for the quote-unquote bad players within your streams and Discord and watch Madness unfold? I did host a few tournaments back in the day. I hosted two. And both of them were terrible. <laughs> I, I am just... I maybe could learn from the mistakes I made back then to manage a better tournament today. But I'm just not interested in doing that. It was a nightmare to actually host it. Especially trying to do it with just, like, you know, community volunteers, effectively. It was just... Not a good plan. Okay. Well, let's get more morale boost. <laughs> it's pretty shameful. I'm the only one on the team who doesn't have an ultimate yet. Besides Barrack, who's Barrack, the slowest charging ultimate in the game. Or one of them, anyways. And, uh, yeah, Grover's beat me to it. Kazumi's beat me to it. Seven's beat me to it. Even though I've gotten four eliminations. How do I not have an ultimate yet? With morale boost and this talent. Don't understand. Kind of crazy. Leon's low. If only I could ping her, man. That'd be 
That'd be crazy. Okay, we're kind of just pushing it through. I feel like my team is just carrying. Whoa, bam! Punched! Yes, I have my ultimate. Run away. Get away with the deed. Stay near Grover. Do damage. Whoop! We're back over here now. <laughs> the reverse portal. Teleport into their backline when they least expect it. Yes! There goes Maeve, and we push it through. Beautiful. Nice. I feel like a content creator tournament would be really fun to watch. I agree, it would be pretty cool. Get, like, a bunch of content creators to host their own teams and battle it out. Could also be very dramatic, too. <laughs> Build tension. Ooh. But yeah, like, I don't know, me hosting a team, Z1, Kami... Uh... I don't know if Frostfangs would participate in that, honestly, because he's an enigma. He's a ghost. <laughs> I don't even know if you would be able to reach out to him for it. But that's at least three. You could probably get former pros to do it. You could probably get Mewtwo on B to do it. That's five. You need eight to get a proper turning together, I think. So who else could you do? Infernal Drogos, I guess. Um, Raven Trick. We really don't have a lot of content creators, do we? <laughs> um... Oh yeah, you can maybe do something with that. Punch! Gotcha! Yay. And we're back up to 32% already. Nice. Wow, great ult, Saris. Uh, Alright, punch. More ult charge. Woo! Okay, well, we're back up to 81%. I really do get a lot from punching, don't I? Creepers? Oh yeah, creepers. How did I forget creepers? <laughs> ah! Oh, gosh. <laughs> that that whole thing alone just causes drama, doesn't it? Oh. Which content creators does uh, does Andrew actually remember versus who does he forget? Oh. Who does Andrew Chicken think is irrelevant? <laughs> nah. I'm just bad at remembering things on the fly like that. A lot of people I've... That have come and gone over the years. Oh, I could actually do that even though I couldn't see her because of the blind. Interesting. So I'm teleporting back over here. I'm running away. Ow! Sniped in the face. Alright, let's do morale boost. Let's try some life rip out. Considering Talos has really high DPS, it might be worth investing into. 60%. Half the team's fighting for Kana, probably. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the first person I'd go to. Hey Kana, do you want to join my team for this tournament? Winky face, join my team, don't join the other teams. Give me the carry, please. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, Unbi or Mewtwo got Kana? That, they would win the tournament. <laughs> pro players stacked on pro players. What the heck? Why can you see the enemy? It's because of the talent. Nothing personal. It reveals enemies who are below 65% health to me. So that's Saris, below 65% health. I see her, I blast her. Reveal outs through the wall. Nobody ever uses it. Because, apart from 15% ultimate charge, that's the only benefit it provides. And generally... In your average casual ranked match, it's more effective to run inner strength for the extra cooldown reduction on your abilities for more damage. This talent really is just such a sleeper talent, because if you have an actual coordinated squad together, or like you were in a scrim setting, the extra intel you get from the reveal would be incredibly useful. I mean, it's literally wall hacks, right? So, like, yeah. You bust it. Like, it's one of those talents that, like, yeah, nobody uses. Most people would consider it not to be a good talent for Talos, but it's, like... <laughs> it's really so underrated. All the pro players just don't join the same team. Oh, right, yeah. Mewtwo is just like, nah, I'm not gonna host my own team. And then he's like, oh, hey, do you want to join my team, Winky Face? Sure, I'll join your team. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Let's just get all the former pro players on. Ah, <laughs> Legit. Andrew Andrew's random viewer, five stack versus an old pro team like Envy or Renegade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andrew Chicken, Wero and Stealthy versus Navi. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. That's going to work. <laughs> no, it's not. <clears throat> oh, boy. Well, 10 kills there. Not bad. 13 assists. And, uh, yeah. Gaming. Let's go again. What level are you? Yes. All of them. I have all the levels. I have all the levels. <laughs> Every champion of mine is above level 50. 
Highest level is BK318. Sophia is the best team right now. Uh, I feel like I've vaguely heard that name, but I also have no idea who they are. I don't know who would be on Sophia. They won the Winter Cup, right? Is that why I know their name? Who is on that team? If you say the players, maybe I'll recognize somebody. Yeah, they did win the Winter Cup. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know who's on that team. I don't know most pro players, though, to be fair. <laughs> I believe weren't Mutu and Unbi on Navi? Or were they on a different team? I'm pretty sure it was Navi. Because I I remember watching the old tournaments and seeing them, and it was a tournament with Navi in it, so I'm pretty sure they were Navi, right? I think. K. Kearney, Eagle, Nosy, Alex, and someone else. Eagle, as in DPS Eagle, the guy who raided me, or a different Eagle? Also, Alex. Is that Alex Put or... Which Alex is that? It was DPS Eagle? Oh, okay. Okay. Got to support a friend of mine, so I hope you all have an amazing remaining stream until the next one. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, Dark Wolf. Yes, I did finally get the Primus screen. Uh, Primus skin. It's actually why it's on my screen right now. I made a video about it today. I actually played a bit of Accelerant. I like the color scheme of this. Does anyone else agree? It looks sporty. Like, it looks like he's wearing, like, team colors, you know? <laughs> Almost feels like he's playing for Argentina or something. Like, he's got the light blue and the yellow and the white. Kind of cool. Although I noticed something weird. I tried to import this skin into Blender. And, well, I did that successfully. But when I ported the texture files, for some reason the texture file messes up the ing part of Prime Gaming. It replaces it with, like, I, and then, like, it has the first part of the N, but then it switches into the R, and then this P, but in reverse, and it has, like, the back part of this, like, little arrow here. I have no idea why it does that. I imported it directly from the version of the game that we're playing right now, which you can see the skin clearly isn't bugged here, but then in Blender it ports prop improperly for some reason. I don't know what's up with the texture file. Weird. Alex is a guy who plays rank on the last day and gets GM with the easy plays damage and flank. Hmm. Yes. Seems legit. DPS Eagle might be the best off tanker. Whoa! Wait, the guy with DPS in his name plays off tank? Who's your champion? I've been bamboozled. Unacceptable. <laughs> How dare he? Speaking of off tank, I need to expend more ammo, so maybe I'll play Ruckus again. Yeah, let's do it. Ruckus! And you know what? <laughs> Maybe if you want to feel real silly, we could do some Rocket Barrage or Flux Generator shenanigans, since it's Ice Mines. <laughs> oh god. New team for Sophia is DPS Eagle, Nadit. I recognize that name vaguely. Urnus? Don't know that person. Nosy K. Kearney. I don't know those last three. A lot of the pro off tank players still play, they just don't make their videos or stream. Yeah. I do enjoy me some good off-tank gameplay. <laughs> I find it so interesting that, like, people just don't like tanking. Because to me, so many tanks in this game are just bullies. Maybe people don't like bullying? I guess that's fair. But, like, you just get in their faces, you make the space. It's a unique mindset. Like, it, it is very different to playing your average DPS. It's nice. Speaking of average DPS, what's going on with the matchmaking? It just had a stroke. 14 Vora, 3 Drogos, 16 Lex, 8 Grover. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, game. Shoot, I, I might just play Rocket Barrage then, just to troll. <laughs> just to have a bit of fun. Be silly, do the memes. DPS wants spawn camped Unbe and his team with Rockets, got his ult in the first 30 seconds. Wow. I'll be if you know People don't like watching tanks, first. it's that simple. Oh, I wasn't talking about streaming. I do understand that to a, an extent. Because, yeah, a lot of... Like, I, I imagine, yeah, it's probably not that fun to watch a Nara gameplay. You really gotta be specific with the tank that you pick to make them exciting to watch. Like, I feel like Azan is a very exciting tank to watch. Or Ruckus. If you do really cool aerial assault plays. The battle is about to begin. For me, Torvald's very fun to play. Although, I'm not entirely sure how fun he is to watch for viewers. Maybe I should do a poll about that. <laughs> Me being one of them I hate it, I can only play Nando, Oh, Yeah, I gotta make some tank guides, honestly. I gotta get people into the role, because tank is a blast. Two, I love tanking. One. 
But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times you get matches in Paladins where you only have one tank in the whole lobby, or no tanks on both teams, and it's like, oh, guys, stop. The game is meant to be played with tanks. Usually two tanks, but sometimes you can make a solo tank comp work if you want to be goofy, but yeah. You got the main tank, you got the off tank, and that dynamic is so much fun. And the fun tanks are the off tanks, let's be real here. Even though I do enjoy some point gameplay with someone like Barrick or Fernando, the tanks that are aggressive and make space, you know, like Ruckus, Azan, etc., they're the fun ones! But I feel like that's restricted because a lot of people don't want to play point tank, and so then you're solo tanking with a tank who's not designed to solo tank, and then it's like, ah, crap, I'm playing Torvald, and I'm the only tank on the team. Well, I guess I'll die. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I didn't hit that. I need to run. Grover! Oh, thank you, Grover. Yes. Beautiful. Might buy some meditation, though. <laughs> it's not that you're doing a bad job, Grover. It's just that I, we're kind of spawn camping here, aren't we? No, no. Aw. But, Grover, meditation is the best item in the game. You can buy it, too. Good item. No. Okay. I'll save him from the time bomb by killing him with bolts. Beautiful. And you know what, I should continue to shoot, even though I'm not attacking anything, just to expend ammo for the quest. 150,000 is a lot to have in the second to last set of trials. That means you only have two weeks to get that done. I feel like that's not enough time for the average player. Considering most players aren't going to one-trick Ruckus for a full week. Hmm. Oh man, and they have bots now. Oh, this is so tragic. Matchmaking just actually had a stroke. That's ridiculous. All right, I'll get on the payload and I'll just shoot. There you go. I'll do it. I'll do the gaming. Yes. What's surprising is that there's a somewhat popular old pro tank player who mains Inara. Yeah, and Inara can be exciting if you play her well. Another thing is like, yeah, generally main tanks are a bit more boring than off tanks. But you can still do some really cool stuff with main tanks too. And in general, your tanks should be played aggressive, and when you play them aggressive, they're a lot more fun. They like trapping people with Inara, bullying them to death, flying Inara, big slams. That's fun. Oh man, what are we doing right now? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna buy Deft Hands. And Meditation, can't forget Meditation. I'm gonna buy Deft Hands so I can do more ammo expansion. Expansion? Expending? Is that a word? I don't know. Anyways. I'm just gonna hold left click. <laughs> Trials are gone in 27 days, though. Oh, do they give more time after the final set is released? Usually, okay, in Trials 1.0, they, you know, you only have one week for the last set of Trials. So. What items are you usually supposed to buy on Lilith? Uh, well, Lilith's mains in the chat should help you with that, hopefully, if you have any. Generally, I usually see items such as morale boost, um, armor plating for damage reduction. Chronos can be good if you have enough self-sustain, but that's the thing. You need to have enough self-sustain to warrant Chronos. Because when you buy Chronos and spam your abilities more, you are taking more of a toll on your blood. Health, so you want to be careful about that. Uh, some items are traps. Veteran is a trap. It does give you more health, yes, but it doesn't increase your blood pool. So, it's not like you can spam more swarms because of it. It'll still help you become tanky, but don't expect it to give you more abilities, right? Okay. Um, and yeah, also, life rip, I mean, with Curse of the Cord, life rip is uh, <sighs> bad. Because <laughs> you do less damage. But even without it, you know, life rip will give you more blood health, but it's also hard to justify because she just does a little DPS with her primary fire. And Bloodbath is also too expensive for her. Meditation does work on her blood health, though. And Meditation is actually very good. Although the problem is, Swarms will put you back in combat. If you do damage to the enemies. So you want to be very careful with that. But, uh, yes, you can indeed uh, have that item work out very well for you. Yeah, Rom and Ruckus are the best for the ammo quest. Both of them are equally as good, I would say. Uh, Rom... We'll obviously be able to expend more ammo because he spends less time reloading, he has ignition. But Ruckus, um, they both have the exact same fire rate. 
Ruckus has less ammo, but he's also a better character overall, so you're more likely to win with him. And in my opinion, he's more fun. So... I'm not even going to get the shielding quest on this match, am I? I don't think I... I barely took damage that match. I don't even think I got 8,000 shielding with Ruckus. That's so sad. <laughs> Assuming I needed to do that anyways, I forgot if I actually needed to or not, but... Uh, and yeah, if you don't want to play either of those tanks, you're, you're exactly right, Asan 3. Victor, Tyra, Talus, Koga, Corvus, anyone with a fast-firing SMG like that, a rifle is going to be good for you. Yeah, I only got 4,800 shielding. Goodness. Wero's the only one who died. Ha! Point and laugh. Seven main dying. Oh, cringe. <laughs> did I need to complete shielding? Oh, I did need to do that. Wow, so I actually failed the shielding quest with Ruckus. Oh my god. What the actual heck was that matchmaking? That was so bad. It literally, the algorithm just had a stroke there. Like, genuinely. Why did it think that was a good match? We have me in the party. We have, oh, we have a smurf, right. We still have three level 999s in the party. We should not be getting that. That's ridiculous. If it happens again, I'm going to have to kick uh, Jiki from the party. Can't have smurfs in here. Like, if it's actually skewing the matchmaking anyways. Continuing tank talk, who's your favorite main tank? Uh, hard to say. <laughs> Barak and Fernando are literally the same level. Uh, so it's probably between both of them. Although, to be honest, I play Fernando more as an aggressive... Fernando. I don't know about off-tank, necessarily. I just push. <laughs> I, I don't even know what c category I would put my Fernando playstyle in. I just hold W. <laughs> I, pl I play Scorch. Um, yeah, he's fun. Um, I do enjoy a bit of Nyx as well. Um, in R, not as much. And then definitely not Terminus. And those are the only five who I would consider to be the proper point tanks. You can have, like, point Makoa or point Ash, but they're off tanks at heart, and their point builds aren't nearly as good as the proper point tanks. Someone said the other day in the stream that Makoa was, like, a main tank. I... <sighs> Maybe, but not really. I, I still feel like even with Half Shell, you are kind of more of the off tank. Probably the best off tank to main tank with, if you do have to do it. But even then, I feel like he's about getting enemies out of position and making space. Hmm. What if we just consider every tank to be a space-making tank? Brilliant. That's my classification. <laughs> Do you remember the guy talking about Eviolt with Rezil doesn't work? Oh, yeah. The guy who spent a full hour claiming that Rezil doesn't work on Eviolt, and then we went into a custom game and proved that it does work, and he still didn't believe us because it was a custom game. And custom games aren't real games. Right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it works on the slow, exactly. And now, if you wanted to counter the Eevee slow, you'd buy Sentinel. Although some people are saying it's bugged, but once the bug is fixed, still, you'd buy Sentinel for Eevee ult. Casual games aren't real games either. Yeah, no, he was, like, concerned about, like, the custom games having, like, I don't know, broken game rules or something like that. That's not how programming works. That, that's, it's not like I'm playing a different Select Eevee in the custom the game. It's the same Eevee. So, yeah. Or Nimble. Yeah, you stack both of them. Stack Nimble for movement speed, stack Sentinel to reduce the slow, and the slow basically doesn't affect you. Easy peasy. Uh, ooh, am I gonna have to solo tank here? Ooh, wait, I know. Fernando's another good one. I totally just realized. Cause, yeah. You don't think about him as having ammo because he has, like, a, a resource meter as his thing. But that is technically ammo. And if you look on the bottom left, where you see his primary fire, he has, like, 150 ammo or something like that. With a really fast fire rate. So this is actually another good character to play for this, I think. If what I'm saying actually works for the classification of this quest. Yeah, Nando, Nando and Grok both have ammo, absolutely. So we will play some God of War for Nando then. Gotta use this skin again, because it has the new voice pack, right? Fireball Nando is my only way to play him for huge fun. Oh yeah, I am a Scorch Welcome enthusiast, through and through. I love the talent. I wish it was better. I want Scorch to be the meta talent for Fernando. And theoretically... I do have to say, I think Scorch is better than Aegis when the enemy is max out Wrecker. 
Okay, GK, I have to kick you from the party. You're risking the matchmaking so hard right now with your Smurf. We can't have that. Uh, but yeah, uh, cause yeah, w when your shield is gone, you'd rather have the extra damage on the fireball, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just a straight up upgrade at that point. You know, if you have like a Victor and Octavia shooting your shield with Racker 3, mercy. it's not going to exist. So, Aha! more damage means you're more likely to kill, Rose I think. Rose Star 999 donated one dollar. What was your queue time? It was like three request. minutes too, it was really this weird. This is a challenge request. Get as many environment Ooh. kills as possible in one match. You pick the champ. Assert dominance. Okay. Be the bully. Do crimes. It is this map. I mean, theoretically, we could do it on this map with Fernando. <laughs> Soldiers, prepare for battle. I don't think I can, though. Because of the matchmaking. And also, we need a better map for this. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this build. This is my Scorch like main tank build. Towering Barrier for cooldown reduction on the shield. And then the rest is cooldown reduction on fireball movement speed. Five, we stack Nimble. Four. We stack Kronos, we win. One. The battle has begun. Maybe all of them could be Smurfs. Well, they weren't last match, and I don't think they are this match, so we're going to have to kick Jiki. I kind of just, when I invited Jiki, I didn't connect that, oh yeah, a Smurf account means low levels. Because it's been so long since I've actually played with a Smurf account that I forgot that that's kind of how that works. So, yeah. Okay. This is your last match, Jiki. Also, I gotta, like, constantly throw fire out here. Got that quick recharge on the flame, though, so we can just expend and then quickly throw a fireball, get it all back, do more shooting. Yes. Boom. Run away! Run away! I need a heal! Thank you, Genos. Oh, Genos, what are you doing so far up? Let me get back in your face and put a shield up. Oh, don't stand on the fire, Jiki. Or, uh, Genos. Or GK, I guess, either or. <laughs> yeah. Have a fireball. Boom, gotcha. Flammin' Werfer. Eat Werf's Flammin', yes. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just heal up here then. Just wait. Paladin says 5v5, Overwatch goes 5v5. Paladin says lifesteal, Overwatch gets lifesteal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Overwatch has had lifesteal since its inception. Because Reaper has always had lifesteal, hasn't he? Unless that was a later edition, but even then, it came pretty early on. Like, that's, that's, uh, that's, I don't think that's a good argument, Colin. But, um... Audience is passive by HP regen, Overwatch gets passive HP regen. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. They also had that since its inception on Mercy, right? But, like, that was on one character. Having it on every character is a very... Big difference. So, yeah. Reaper used to have, like, Moji snack attacks rather than lifesteal. So eh. I think the point still stands. I don't think that's a very good argument. Especially because many other games had lifesteal before Paladins. Like, that's not a Paladins exclusive. But yeah, I do find it interesting all the ways in which Overwatch is becoming more similar to Paladins. I don't. I, I don't like it, though. I want the games to be more distinct. I don't want to play Paladins when I go play Overwatch, you know? I want to play Overwatch. Like, Overwatch 1. I want to have 6 v 6. I want to have, you know, Overwatch mechanics. Not Paladins mechanics. Because it's a different game. <laughs> Please. I can't wait in a few years. They're going to add an item store. <laughs> how, how much you want to bet they're going to do something silly like that? They're going to add an item store, or they're going to add, like, champion bands and ranked or something like that. And <laughs> it's just going to be like, oh, hmm, okay. Let's just copy Paladins, but do it really badly. No Mayvolt. None whatsoever. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Enemy team didn't even pick a sport. Yeah, that's how low elo this is. Don't the Overwatch devs technically admit the Paladins model is better? Into the dark. Maybe not the model as a whole, but I think they're definitely taking inspiration from Paladins. There's no way they're not with the changes that they're doing. Casualization of the game, making the hitboxes bigger, you know, making it easier to aim, adding the regen, increasing the time to kill so one-shots are gone, which, you know, one-shots have been in Overwatch since its inception with freaking Widowmaker, Hanzo headshots, all that crap, right? Ah! I still don't understand the move to 5v5 either. 
I guess they wanted to make a big change to make it feel like a second game, but it's just feels like a failure to me. Like, the 6v6 format was cooler, I think, for Overwatch. Especially because, like, with Roll Queue, you know, you had two of each class, that made sense. Now the classes are lopsided, now you don't have tank duos, now you have less synergy, it's like, uh... Man. I'm not saying Paladins should go to 6v6 either, that would be silly. You know, it's just like, Paladins was designed from the ground up for 5v5, Overwatch was designed from the ground up to be 6v6. So changing that just doesn't really make sense. And also, Paladins doesn't have a rule queue, so in 5v5 you can do whatever the heck you want. And I mean, you know, there's freedom there, so, yeah. Ilaria is literally Grok. I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't like that comparison. I don't think it's an apt comparison. I've seen the argument. Yeah, she has a totem. Kind of, sort of weird thing. It's not really the same as Grok's totems. And yeah, she heals with her weapon, but, I mean, Overwatch has had a bunch of weapons that heal. And the way the totem works is different. And then the ultimate is completely different. And the movement is completely different. And the primary fire is completely different. I, I don't think that's a good comparison. I don't think it helps us as the Paladins community to have bad faith comparisons between the games, right? Because stuff like that is just dumb. That's just, that's just not, not an apt comparison. Um, and yeah, the same could be said for some of the other comparisons, too. Back in the day, it made a lot more sense, actually, for Overwatch to say that about Paladins in some aspects, such as, like, I don't know, Widowmaker and Knessa. But the truth is, a lot of those characters were actually ripped from DF2 rather than Overwatch, so there's that, too. I switched to Jiki. Oh, gosh. Why were you on your alt in the first place? Trying to skew the matchmaking? I don't want easy matches like that. All right, let's go. <clears throat> It doesn't help in any game having the argument of this game copied this promotes even more toxicity between the two communities. Yeah, but if we are going to have that, it should be, like, actual substantive, like, arguments rather than just really loose, vague comparisons, you know? I just think it's sad to see the downfall of Overwatch like that. Because it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, now it's just kind of sad. Hmm. Keyword was? Was? What? If we still get low elo, it isn't my fault. Yeah, I, I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> I mean, you're not on your smurf now, so uh, we should have regular matchmaking again. I only wish Hi-Rez would capitalize more on it. Makes a massive announcement like Paladins 2 on UE5. It, that's not going to happen for a long time, I can guarantee you that. Smite only just now got a UE5, you know, second edition. And yeah, Paladins is not going to have that for a few years, if, if it ever gets it, because it's always been in the shadow of Smite. So yeah, that don't expect that. But more advertising is always good. It's also kind of bad faith to criticize one game for copying another unless they're blatantly similar because there are very few unique game mechanics or character concepts. Yeah, that's true. But I think there is a good argument to be made to actually accuse Overwatch of copying Paladins with this new update that they've done in terms of trying to make the game feel more similar to Paladins. And, you know, like, one small change wouldn't be enough, but the fact that they've done so much all at once in a patch called the Champion Patch, uh, it, it, it's kind of hard to argue it's not copying Paladins, honestly. Like, oh, in the patch, called the Champion Patch, they made the hitboxes bigger, just like Paladins. They made the time to kill higher, just like Paladins. They added healing out of combat, just like Paladins. <clears throat> what was the last one? There was another change, too, I'm forgetting. But they've done all this. Make it feel more like Paladins. You know? So, that's why I made the video I did, too. But yeah, they are still different games at the end of the day. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> yeah, Overwatch feels more similar to Paladins Use than ever, but it's still... Honestly, in my opinion, kind of just dumbed down Paladins, because it doesn't have the items, it doesn't have as many characters, it doesn't have loadouts, it doesn't have talents. There are fewer crowd control effects, there are fewer effects just in general. Paladins is far more complicated. Cauterize! That's the one! How did I forget Cauterize? 
That's the major thing. That's the biggest point of them copying Paladins. Because Cauterize is Paladin's thing. That's a staple of this game. That's the whole... That Cauterize is the whole mechanic that supports are balanced around, right? So, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's the big one right there. That plus all the other things is like, oh, okay, guys, guys, come on. Come on. It's kind of blatant at this point. What should I even do? I need to get environmental kills, but I need to do a lot of shooting. Screw the quest. I'm going to try it with Makoa. I want to hook people into the lava and the spinners. We'll see if I can do it. Caught has ruined Overwatch tanks, though. Has it? I don't know how it's affected the meta, honestly. I haven't played it. <laughs> the, the only Overwatch I've played recently is the game I did in the video. So, yeah. Overwatch got me into hero shooters. Paladins kept me hooked. Paladins got me into hero shooters. Paladins kept me hooked. <laughs> Simple as. Simple as that. Cauterize mostly affected Mauga and Hog. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Hog. All right, uh, we're going to do half shell so I can protect myself as I try and hook them into the spinners, right? And we're going to do this build, which has a little bit of hook cooldown reduction. Of course, we're going to grab Kronos. Going to see if I can get any kills here. Or not. We'll see. Also ruined Orisa. How did it ruin Orisa? Because doesn't Orisa like... Does Cauterize affect the healing she gets from Fortify in the sense of the overhealth? I would assume it doesn't. But maybe I'm wrong. Five, four, hmm. three, two, I know about Spinners, but where's Lava on that map? It's on the other side. On the left, over there. In that room. Over here. Right. I'm going to go to the Spinners, though, because, yeah, there are people over here. You're the Puma's pajamas. <laughs> they all ran away. Wait, they're playing so passively. What's going on here? Okay, I'll put the shield on point. Give the team some space to breathe. How did Ray... Wait, what is Ray doing up there? Okay, Ray's just dead? Weird. Let's group up. I'm gonna go over here. Bro, I scared her away. Come back. Please. Oh, she's just up there. Okay, let me get the shield down. Oh, I have Ying heals. Nice. Wait, why did the hook fail? I, I hit her. She went nowhere. I just got scammed. What happened? Did the Zahn ruin that somehow? Oh, I'm just dead. Okay. Thank you for the Prime sub, by the way. Very nice. Because of the healing passive, Ball became meta. That makes sense. It's kind of like Yagaroth. Yagaroth runs in, disrupts, heals out of combat. Wrecking Ball already did that, but just with the health packs, but now we can also get the passive healing on top of that. And he still has the shield, right? So that's also passive regen on top of that. What's next? They're going to add Wrecker? Oh, you can, uh... <laughs> DPS do 20% more damage to shields. whoop de doo Also, the passive uh, personal shields, uh... They no longer generate ultimate charge, but they also don't passively regen, so you have to heal them back. Mm -hmm. Let's just steal Paladin's shields, which do have different mechanics to Overwatch shields, yes. Genius. I don't think I'm going to get environmental kills this match. We just kind of got a bad map for it, and the enemies are not playing anywhere remotely close to the spinners. Like, I kind of got unlucky by their comp, because they have two snipers. Oh man, sure, you were getting wrecked. <laughs> Unfortunate. Hello! Oh my gosh, there was a dragon in there. Okay. Yikes. No, he can't hook him on a dragon. Nor would he want to, because, um... That'd be awkward. Oh, come here! Blast me in the face, please. I want to die! Yes. Oh man, Ray just got wrecked, dude. Oh, I couldn't get that. Too far away. Uh, well, no hook for me. Need a bit of a heal, but I'm getting sniped. I fall back. Yeah, I get those delicious heals. Juicy. All right, come down here. See, it worked that time. I guess Azan must have used Reckoning on the person I hooked, and it messed it up somehow. Shield. Come here. Yeah, no Inferno Cannon for you. Stop it. Ah, bam! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Did Imani get a buff? No, she didn't get a buff. 
I'm pretty sure Liana Lewis is an, an Imani main, right? I seem to recognize their name. I'm pretty sure they are. Only casts Fireball. That title <laughs> seems convincing. Uh-oh, she's behind us. Watch out. Hello, come here. Bonk. Okay, that shield's gonna fall pretty soon. Let me move back here. I think next round I'll try and go over to the lava. I think I might actually have more of a chance of pulling someone off the map there. But if I don't get it this match, then I think this match just straight up doesn't count, and I'm gonna blame their comp. We gotta get a good map for environmental kill challenges, otherwise it's not gonna count, obviously. It's like if we get, uh, I don't know. Uh... Bizarre! I, it took me a second to think of a map that doesn't have a, a sun pit. Yeah, we obviously can't do that on Bizarre. There is no place to throw them off, right? Alright, I'm gonna get the big shield right here, and we're just gonna stall. I walked backwards into that? She's playing solar blasting. Okay. Oh, here we go. Get knocked around here. Miss the hook somehow, because I'm a dummy, I guess. Oh, they're bringing out so many ults to defend this, but Azan leaves the point! Oh! <laughs> Dude, oh, that's too funny. <sighs> that's a perfect example right there, honestly. Of uh, Azan uh, being so powerful that he can actually throw the game in overtime because his dash is so good that it leaves him off the point. That's that's too good. Jeez. She got an indirect buff with the DR split. You need a separate item to resist Inferno Cannon. That's true. And yeah, I guess Androxus and Ray are both Five, got buying four, armor plating. Three, That'll help two, with the fireballs, one. but yeah, it won't help with the Inferno Cannon. I think it's still. We are don't go in. It's one v two. Please don't go in. We are no. Yeah, stay back here. Okay. Dear God. But yeah, Inferno Cannon's only an ability. It's a powerful ability, yeah. But like, going out of your way to spend like seven hundred fifty credits or more to counter that just doesn't seem worthwhile to me. Ah, all right. I'm gonna get the shield here. A little bit of cover. I can stand right here and block. Best shield placement ever. <laughs> I'm gonna get back here. I thought I got right. Well, where's the rail? Who did she ult? She didn't ult me. Okay. Well, I popped my ult too late because I thought I got the immunity, but I didn't. Crap. Okay, is on instead. Which means now he's not gonna be able to ult point to touch. Oh, that's just a tragedy, guys. You let me down, guys. Okay. And I still can't get environmental kills, because, uh... <laughs> Genosalt. Okay. That's just too far away to hook, but I can grab Genos up here. And then... Get headshot by Knessa, I guess. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Can't survive. <sighs> If Paladin's play of the game, Genos would 100% get it. Yeah. I do wish that would come back, but it's not going to happen. It's probably the most popular feature to come back that is never going to come back. Which I know that was said about Payload, right? They said Payload was never going to come back, and then it came back. But, like, play of the game is genuinely never coming back. Like, never. Because <laughs> I think Payload's actually a lot simpler to bring back than play of the game and, like, kill cams and stuff like that. That's such a, like, super investment feature, right? They are, it's so resource intensive. Oh boy, no thank you. I'm harder treating Knessa. Not dealing with that. Break that down. And... No, he got stuck on the wall! I almost had that. I actually almost got an environmental, but I can't. Oh my god. Okay, well I have another hook. I'm in position. Just gotta wait. Sure! No! The link! <laughs> that counts. Rose Star, that counts. I don't care that she got the kill credit. That's my kill. It counts for the quest, okay? We're, I have a score of one. One score. Environmental death because of my hook. Ah. That's the worst thing in the game. 
I, I suggested them a while back that they should change how kill credit is done for stuff like that. Because it genuinely does affect the game in a negative way, right? They died to the hook. The hook was the reason Zon died. He did not die to raise Spirit Link. But yeah, she got the kill. And because she got the kill, A, it hurts my KDA, it hurts my pride, it doesn't feel good. But also I get fewer credits because of that. Because you get more credits if you get a kill versus if you get an e -limp. And also that has implications for Bloodbath as well. Like we have an item that directly changes how it works based on kills versus assists. So you want that to be as accurate as possible. So the way they should do it is if someone dies to environmental damage, which it does track, because you can see it on the kill card if you die to environmental damage, the person who gets the kill should be the person who hit them with the crowd control effect most recently. It's so like if they die to environmental damage and they got hit by a hook, and a Kinetic Burst. If Kinetic Burst is what hit them into the fire, then reward the kill to Ash, right? Basically, whichever CC is the most recent. That'd be a much more reliable way to do it. And it would feel so much better. It would feel so much better, man. No more kill steals from, uh... Leon basically casting Valor on a Torvald ult and stealing the entire trip ski. <laughs> Which happened to me on my channel. I have a video on it, like, five years ago. And I'm still salty about it, man. It's just the worst. Show two people in the kill feed as well. No, you don't need to do that. You actually just need to fix the kill awarding. Because I deserve that kill credit. And I don't think anyone will disagree. I don't even think Sure will disagree. And Sure's the one who got the kill. That's just how environmental kills should work. And you know what? If Sure was playing Ash and knocked into the drink and I stole the kill with Makoa, yeah, Sure deserves that kill. <laughs> it's just so sad, man. Alright, Generals, come here. Bam. So one, and finish the kill. They have no healer now, and I have my ultimate. I have a Ray ult, Ray Ying ult. So I will absolutely live this. Let's get the shield down. You are so lucky that a Zon wall was there. You're still dead, though. And we got it. <sighs> boom. Boom. Yes. Beautiful. And you're clearly forgetting that Ray Spirit Link knocks back enemies by 0.5 units. <laughs> yes. Of course. Have every character be tagged by the last knockback style effect they've been hit by. Save it until they land on the ground again, and if they die to environmental damage, credit the knockbacker. Yeah, or you wouldn't even need it to be that complicated. Just keep track, like have a tag that says the last CC effect that hit them. You don't even need to clear it or do any ground-based funny business or anything like that. Just if they die to environmental damage, right, if they take environmental damage, check through a predetermined list of crowd control effects and award the kill properly. Now, where it gets tricky is you do have sub-knockbacks, right? You have, like, really tiny knockback effects on, like, primary weapons. Basically, all blasters have it, for example. And, yeah. That's, um, you know, something that could technically get an environmental kill, but, like, I don't think you should be tagging that as a CC ability. Because then you'd have an issue where, like, Bomb King steals a kill from Makoa. Because, <laughs> you know, technically Bomb King has a knockback on his primary fire. He didn't hit him with a poppy bomb, just hit him with primary fire, but because Makoa hooked him, but then BK took the kill, BK actually gets kill credit. And that would be awkward, right? So just a predetermined list of like, okay, Makoa hook, kinetic burst, uh, disengage, all these knockbacks. Just line them up in a row, there's your list, and check for that if they got damaged by that. Fell off the map with environmental damage, right? Award the kill to the proper player. I think it'd be a very simple system logically to implement, but... Paladins is also a game created with tremendous, authentic Italian spaghetti code. So, you know. I imagine it'd be harder to implement than what I'm saying. Because of Paladins logic. Eh. Oh boy. Shield! Bully is on! Yes, we did it. And we should win the game here, I think. Come to point. Now die. Thank you. I just wanted to kill. There we go. GG's. We got it. Well, that definitely was not the most environmental kills I could get, but I think we got a bad map for it and a bad matchup for it, so it's kind of unfortunate. <sighs> Overwatch has that function for environmental kills. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's good. And Paladins should have that, too. Stuff like Khan, Torvald, Io, Makoa gets first priority, Fear's next priority, Stun's third priority, and Weapon-based Knockback is lowest priority. Oh, true, you could have stuns, right. But then, like, what if someone got knocked off the map by Ash and then stunned 
so that they can't use their movement ability to get back up. Who do you award the kill credit to then? I think you still award the kill credit to Ash, even though the stun helped to secure the kill. The knockback was the main part of the kill. I, I, I think just make it as simple and straightforward as possible. You don't need to make it so complicated, right? Literally just check environmental kills versus a list of knockback effects and see which one was applied most recently. Boom. Easy. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. One environmental kill. I only got four kills, period. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. I was kind of the point tank there. The kind of meh job of it, but it is what it is. Um, it's actually the three hour mark. I'm, I feel like we can do one more match. I have one more match left in me, so let's go. And if we get a better map, then I'll try for environmental kills again. But if not, I guess I have a low, low score of one. <laughs> Aha! Uh. Rostar99 <laughs> yes, donated you, Rostar. one dollar. Here is your second chance to beat your score of one. Now I get bizarre. Oh, well, no environmental kills for me. What about knocking back a Drogo's with Ash, but Damba sends the Drogo's into the water who gets the kill? Uh, still Ash. I think you just make it a knockback-based system, and that's it. Simple as that. Because, yeah, again, I guess the sun would be securing the kill in that case, but Ash is still the one who put Drogo's over the water, right? She's the reason why he's in that position in the first place to die, so... And, like, Drogo's would be the one exception because he's basically one of the only characters you need to secure the kill, right? Like, I guess, yeah, Maeve and other characters with movement abilities, too, but, like, Drogo's just has his passive, right? It's just... You're probably not going to knock them off the map anyway, so why are we worrying about it? Let's just make it so knockback takes priority on awarding kill credit with environmental damage. Easy. Yes, track the most recent knockback. If it's environmental, credit the knockback source. Anything else doesn't matter. Exactly. Simple, straightforward. Because keep in mind, it's even Mojo we're talking about. This game is constructed from spaghetti code. So, <laughs> a simpler system will be more realistic to implement. And will probably be less buggy. So, yeah. There's the case of, like, Tor for Io sending Drogos into the skybox with their ults. Oh boy, yeah. Ah. They should also fix the kill credit bug with Nyx, where she doesn't uh, give credit when dying. Yeah. I feel like that's actually harder to fix than maybe fixing this whole knockback situation. Because she's got, like, a weird ability that tracks damage sources and converts damage into a different type of damage. So sometimes Nyx ends up killing herself um, with the ability, but then, like, it bugs out and doesn't remember who did the damage to her that converted it into the ability damage. Or, like, the ability damage that killed her from the Royal Presence was done long enough ago that it forgot who did it, right? Because sometimes, yeah, you do run into an issue where, like, okay, I did a thousand damage to somebody, and then they ran around a corner, and it's, like, six seconds later, and, you know, they were still relatively low because of my damage. Someone else finishes them off, but it forgets that I did that damage, so I don't get the assist. I think that's mostly what's happening with Nyx's thing, but it's just hard to do, you know? Also, apparently the Weatherman is playing. Thank you, Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Cool. Select a champion. Shattered Desert. Ah. Okay, here's what we're going to do, chat. The only way I can get environmental kills on this map is with really long-range knockback. So I'm going to play Khan. And I am going to try and ult spam. And pray that they have a Victor or a Genos or somebody who I can target. Right? And I'm just going to throw them all the way to the other side of the map. And also, if they don't buy Sentinel, we should be good. And if they don't have any of those characters, I'm going to cry. And I'm probably going to get zero environmental kills here. <sighs> Remove eliminations, kills, and assists. Problem solved. Ah, genius. <laughs> now, yeah, what they do is everything would just be classified as an elimination. You don't even have a kill counter anymore. It's just like back in the day, back in the old scorecard when I started playing, it didn't separate kills and assists, it was just an elimination counter. <laughs> so you'd have like a, a Genos player with like 50 eliminations and be like, oh, I popped off! Nah, bro, you got three killing blows. <laughs> but you don't know that. Oh, man. Okay, who do they have? They have Sky, Perfect, and Terminus, although Terminus might still be able to get back. Rover, I'm not sure how reliable that'll be, but they at least have a sky. So our mission here, morale boost. 
I have a ray, thankfully. Thank goodness for that. Grab Sky as much as I can. I feel so bad for this player because she doesn't know what she's about to walk into. But um, yeah, we're gonna go storm of bullets from excellent charge. Oh, storm. Our line Meyer donated one dollar. Oh no. Easy time. Cold blooded five. This is supposed to be the last match. Five. What are you Add doing? Rest. No. Corgi derp. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, let's just max this out. Looks like Ray's going for either a hybrid or a damage build. Probably a damage build, it looks like. This is. Not really Jesus. ultimate charge from the cards. I'm not sure if she'll be linking me. Probably not, considering Midnight Stroll, but that's okay. I'll just be my own ultimate generator. I will shoot the enemies, and I will win. Yay. About to miss every ult? Nah, we got this. I'm good at this game, remember? At least, that's what I like to tell myself. So, we'll be fine. Alright, let's go. Deep Roots? Oh my god, he's throwing. No way, he's throwing. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, someone went over here. Oh, it's Sky. Hello. Grabby, grabby. Out of position. Die. Ooh, lots of damage. Let me shield this. He's probably gonna punch me. Where's my healer? Where's my healer? Oh, thank you, Io. Oh my god, I almost died. Jeez. Let me pressure you out. Swat the Drogos out of the sky. Do a quick one of those, and let's go in. I'm not standing on point. I have to build ultimate charge. I need to beat my score of one. Environmental kill, okay? This guy is coming back. Let me just do some damage here. Oh, Fernando's dead. Rip. Alright. Uh, wow, Grover's dead. Weiro's just carrying right now. Ooh, okay. Battle shot that real quick. Oh, I just got my ultimate. Okay. Well, Talos has no portal, so maybe I can get an environmental kill on him. I'm not going to attempt it on Drogos, because he's Drogos, obviously. Uh, I'm also too far away to actually get it right now. Kind of in a bad spot. Ooh, the right, the stun. Okay. The siphon! Ah, that was actually right enough that it missed the sky. Okay. Kind of hard to tell. Because the siphon is so wispy sometimes, you know? Let me stun you. Shield this. Oh, man, they have a lot of pressure out here. Gonna build that ult back real quickly, though. Yeah. Oh, poison, don't kill me. No, where's my healer, dude? Okay, more Marabus. There we go. Bait this guy back to your spawn and then ult her into the spawn door? Ah, I'm genius. Right you know, if we also uh, have to defend, I can do that too, and that would count. Alright, Terminus, why are you flanking? Terminus, you're not a flank. You're a tank. Stop it. Alright, I have my ultimate again, but the entire enemy team is dead. That's awkward. I can't ult him against their spawn doors. Guys, we have to stop winning so quickly. We need another long game like last match, okay? I don't even have a good angle to throw her off the map, so I'm just going to save it for next round. Because, yeah, this is not working out for us right now. Yeah, you can kill people dragging them into their spawn, because the spawn door does damage. It's meant so that the enemies can't literally walk inside the spawn and kill you, right? And spawn also heals you if you're on the right team, obviously. So, it's a safe space. But if you have something like Connell, you can walk them into spawn and force them to take that damage. <laughs> And you're going to beat a score with one with one. I might not beat it at all, honestly. If I miss the sky again and we win. <laughs> like, we're winning too quickly. I might not be able to actually beat this. I might have a lower score at the end. Sadly. Okay, here we go. Let's try this out. We need to, like, lose. Can we do that? <laughs> Can we just let this match go on a little bit longer, please? All right, I'm going to go over here again and hope sky goes over here. Nope, 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 nope. No, Io. Oh, that's so sad. I was going to tank it with Battle Shouts. All right, well, you're dead. The damn siphon! Dude, the damn siphon! What the heck? Oh, my God. That was right in her face. I hate that. There were three people lined up there. Impossible to miss. But he just presses the siphon the moment I do it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to lose, dude. I'm actually going to get a worse score. This Terminus is sabotaging my ever move. Why does he pocket Sky? Why does Sky have a Terminus pocket? 
Who designed this team comp? Die! Give me my ult back as quickly as possible. I need to beat this score. <sighs> Alright, die. We're at 60%. Blast Talus, come here. Come here, Talus. There we go. I need more ult charge. Where's Terminus? Enemies behind us? That's fine. We need to lose. We need to lose this cap so I have more time. More environmental kills. We're on a mission. A farming mission. We're playing Farmville out here, okay? 99%. Alright, I have it. Now I just need Sky. Okay, you put your portal down, so I can't target you right now. Battle shout that. Alright, now your portal's down. So now I'm gonna back up for a sec. I'm actually gonna go up here. He's just going in without a portal. They're all too far away, though. Okay. Let me stun you. Die! I think that counts. Oh, he just ulted and killed himself on that. Okay, that definitely counts. Now, chat, does that count as one or two? Because <laughs> he, <laughs> he ulted and instantly died. <laughs> Is that two? Mm -mm. I think that's... We'll just classify it as one. We'll say the wall impact doesn't count, but the fact that he ulted and killed himself because I put him there, I think that does count. So we'll go with one. I have a score of one right now. Alright, you die. Uh, give me more ultimate charge, Terminus. No siphon. Give me more ultimate charge, please. Wait, he got the ult back? Okay, never mind. Am I still at zero then? I heard the ultimate sound, but he just instantly exploded. Okay, weird. Score should be zero. I guess I have a score of zero then. No, I'm actually going to lose. Stop pushing the payload! <laughs> no! I can't lose! I'm tired of losing. <laughs> Enemies aren't even leaving spawn, dude. Nope, Drogo's coming out. That's good. Uh, except he fails it. I guess he got Fernando at least. Okay, I have another ultimate. Problem is, this is just such a bad angle to do it from. I need to do it back over here. I'll try it on Grover. He might be able to get the vine off. Yeet! Yeah, he got the vine off. Oh, man. This is such a bad map for it, dude. I'm getting so unlucky with these maps. This is the worst time to get a knockback trial, dude. What the heck? <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we are all... Can't battle shout anybody. Battle shout you. There we go, gotcha. Wrong person to grab, but there's the double. A lot of wrecker on that Talus, but he should not die. Never mind, okay. Good news is they might actually defend here. That's really good. I need them to defend. Please defend. Fifteen seconds remaining. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just not going to get an ult. Let me just focus on building a ult charge. I'm not going to go for another kill here until they defend in this next round. I wish I could kill them by putting them into their own spawn, but that's just not how the game works. Oh, and we're going to win anyways. Wait, guys, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm not going to beat my score. I'm not touching that payload. I'm not touching the payload. I'm not pushing. No. I can't even beat my own score with Khan. I got one more environmental kill with Makoa than I did with Khan. I got zero environmental kills with Khan. What is this? This is so dumb. You know what? I, I blame whoever got Terminus so low. If Terminus didn't get so low, I would have gotten at least one. I would have matched my score, but somehow he got, like, an absurd amount of damage done to him. So, it's that person's fault. Ah, <sighs> dude. <clears throat> That's so lame. God, and now I have to play a stupid Eevee quest when I was just going to end off. I'm just a failure. I'm just a failure. That was supposed to be the final match of the stream, but it's not even that. And I can't even do it next match because it's an Eevee match, and you can't get environmental kills with Eevee. Uh... <sighs> I blame the matchmaking, too. The enemies were bad. They were all bad. <laughs> they lost too quickly. It's their fault. It's not my fault. It's anybody's fault but mine. I, I'm blameless. It's definitely not my fault that I'm just bad. Definitely couldn't be that. <clears throat> uh, that's sarcastic, by the way. Obviously, it's my fault at the end of the day. Should've just played better. <sighs> Do I even have the Eevee build? Is this different to the other stupid Eevee build? Eevee. It is, isn't it? Because this one has Cold Acclamation. We need Cold Blood and Infrigid Field 5. 
Uh, what is Frigid Field? Oh, heal or Ice Block is active. Oh boy. You know what? I'll put in Movement Speed as well after Ice Block ends. Just because I can. Actually, I just realized that has different scaling. That's 15% at the start and then it scales by 10%. Weird. Alright, there. I'll do this build. Fine. Hmm. Here's how you environmental kill with Eevee, get a Drogo as a leaving team, have him play over water, blink at him, ult him, and sword of safety. <laughs> yes. Because that's reliable. Yeah, the cripple will disable his jetpack. Absolutely. It, it will kill him, but that's super unreliable. Is there a new tier list coming? I'll do a new tier list once Season 7 actually arrives and I've had time to play ranked in the new season. But I feel like it's too early to do a tier list right now. Yeah, we have played the patch for about a month. But it's still very fresh, and I don't have much ranked experience yet because I've been waiting for Season 7. And I also want to see if they do any changes to ranked in Season 7. You know? <clears throat> Who are you playing ranked with? Myself. Maybe do it with Z1 too, we'll see. <sighs> <clears throat> No, no friend requests. I do not accept friend requests. Stop it. Stop it! Clearly what you do is shoot the enemy, hack them, and turn off their Wi-Fi so they walk into the water. Genius. Genius! Just resort to illicit means. I just gotta do it in a bot match. <laughs> just go in a bot match, have my team go AFK, uh, do it on TDM Throne, or a TDM Abyss, right? And then just camp the ult power up, and then all 40 kills have to be for my ultimate. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Sarah's for environmental kills. Her ult radius is pretty massive. It's kind of hard, but yeah, you could do it. I'd rather just do it with Khan, though, because it should be reliable as long as we get an actual good map for it. But we're not getting good maps for it. Shattered frickin' desert, man. Terrible. Of course, now I'm going to get Fish Market, which is probably the best map to do this on. Or Frog Isle. But they're going to have five hypermobile characters that I can never throw off the map. <laughs> I can still work around that. I just have to throw them down. Yeah, it's reliant on fights breaking out near ledges so you can throw them off. That's why Khan is so reliable for environmental kills. Because he has such a powerful knockback force and he can pick someone up from a long range. So he can force them over to the edge, right? Fingers crossed for Bizarre. Well, I have to play Eevee here, so if it's Bizarre, we get a pass. If it's Fish Market or Frog Isle, though, I'm going to give Khan one more good attempt. And that attempt will be my official score for this challenge, okay? Once we actually get, like, a good map for it. Death from Eevee ult is environmental because Eevee's ult is Blizzard. Ah, genius. Ooh, Ascension Peak. Ooh, ooh, I'm doing it here. This is going to be my official score. This is officially an official map that we can officially do this on. Officially. Lots of long edges. There's also the well near the point. Multiple opportunities for me to get ultimate kills here. Even if they're nimble, right? So we're going to rush morale boost. We're going to see what we can do. Certainly I can beat my score of one <laughs> with Makoa Hook on Split Stone Quarry. If I fail that, then I'm actually a loser. What are you trying to do? Someone challenged me to get as many environmental kills as I can using whatever means necessary. So I'm going to be picking people up and punting them off the map this entire match. Maybe it'd be a good idea to pick Vortex Grip as well to try and like get commander's grab throws. But probably not, because it's going to be less ultimate charge building, and also with those shields, I need to bust them as quickly as possible. I think Storm Bullets is just the best option. Oh yeah, they have two tanks. I should be able to easily throw off the map. Drogo's and Droxus are going to be difficult, but Fury as well is possible to throw off the map, so... We'll just see what we can do. Is Omen playable after the nerfs? <laughs> no, says Erlemeyer. Yeah, he's not very good after the nerfs. I, I think you can still play him in casuals, probably, but he's just not a very good character at the moment, sadly. <sighs> don't miss. I won't miss. It, I, if I miss an ultimate on Makoa, and it's for any reason other than he put his shield up at the right time, I am genuinely trash. I need to uninstall. It's Makoa. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> He's so rotund. Look at him. 
<sighs> Why is nobody loading in, dude? <laughs> Am I bugged out, actually, considering no one's loading here? I just saw chat reconnect. Is my Wi-Fi okay? Yeah, it is. Still see chat messages coming in. I think Paladin's is broken. Oh, yep, there it is. It's you. Yeah, it's a me thing. Okay, we're loading back in. Hello, Paladins. <clears throat> I come in three there we go. All right, we're here. We're here. Large. Storm of bullets. Large. Bullet storm. Hey, I actually made it back in time. Perfect. All right, let's do morale boost. <gasps> there we go. Yay! Thank you, Paladins, for being weird. Hooray. Stream lagging. It isn't. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the mixed signals, chat. I think the stream is fine. I'm not getting any OBS indicators. Bitrate looks good. Chat's still coming in. I think Paladins just had a stroke. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, oh, that's a lot of shields. We need Racker. Lots of Racker. And we don't have a good Racker, because we have Damage Damba and Double Flank. Five, Hero, I think it's up to you. Four, three, <laughs> we have two, no Shield Busters, dude. One, I need to buy Racker as well, but I need to rush Morale Boost first. Shields is actually really bad for this quest because A, they block the ultimate, B, they hamper my ultimate generation. Oh boy. Stop it, Fernando. We both get stunned. What the heck did I just do to this guy? What happened to his animations? That's the weirdest thing. Oh, she's playing Exterminate with that beam. Okay. Oh. Let me just do a bunch of damage. Headshots. Stop stunning me when I try and go for stuns. What is this Fury doing? She's giving me the most aggressive beams ever. Alright, there we go. You're dead, and I am 94% to an ultimate. So, let's blast you, and let's get ready to camp the right side of the map. I'm just gonna wait here and try and throw somebody off. Whoever that may be. I could even do Drogos from this angle, because I can throw directly down, right? So, let's just wait, and yoink! Bam! Alright, I have a score of one. Already beat the Makoa game. Yes! And last game, too. Double kill. Triple kill! Yes! Popping off! Hey, Andy. Yes, please back up at your earliest convenience and allow me to continue blasting you so I can get ultimate charge. Thank you. Do a quick battle shout. Whoa, okay. Well, you're gone. I need to shield right now. Oh, thank you, Ray. Huge heals. Blast you down. Let me give you a battle shot real quick. That's ultimate charge, too. Okay, we're at 77%. Pretty close. Get that Furia out of here, and I'm going to camp the left side of the map for this next kill. Ooh, we're fine. <laughs> oh, Eevee's not, though. Eevee, what? How did you do that? How do you fall off the map with her? Okay. Well, I have another ultimate. All right. Oh, that didn't work. That hit him into the rock that I didn't know was there. Okay. Well, no points for me. I thought that would work. I thought it was down enough. I can't even grab her. Why does she time that so perfectly? All right, get me out of here. No environmental kill, sir. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, off the map. No! Okay. I know you're going to do it. I know what you're looking for. I'm just going to back away slowly <laughs> before my shield breaks. <laughs> no! He hooked me in my movement ability, too. The Drogos came from behind and destroyed the shield early, right when I was trying to go for it. So Makoa scores one. <laughs> I need to beat this Makoa at his own game. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're 50% to another ultimate. Let's try and get some more charge up here. Andro's dead. That's good. I don't want to blast the shield. I want to blast the actual health. Oh, yeah. This is good right here. Fear him. Boom. Lots of ult charge. 87%. Gonna have another one here in a sec. Oh, Lojiki's just popping off right now. There's a hero on Wiro. Okay. I have my ultimate, so I'm just going to wait for someone to come out of spawn and then throw them off. I'm going to stand right here and make sure I throw directly down. There we go. All right. Score of two now, chat. Score of two. Keep track. Ooh. All right. I'm just going to free fire on that. 
go for Battle Shout as well, just for the healing. Extra old credits that way. 44%, 46%. Okay, good. Is there an environmental kill challenge? No, uh, someone challenged me directly with a donation. There's not a trial for it, sadly, although it would make for a very interesting trial. Get uh, five environmental kills in one match. Yes. That would be fun. And now I've got morale three, so now I'm going to start getting wrecker just so I can blast the shields more efficiently and make sure they're destroyed so I can get more ultimate charge that way. I need the shields to be down so I can shoot their actual health. So by shooting their actual health, I get ultimate charge, right? That's how that works. That doesn't count? Dumb, but you're trolling. <laughs> Three, two, All right, let's go. Not going to have one at the start here, but uh, my goal is to either play near the well or near the right side, and it's probably more reliable to play on the right side. So, yeah, that's what we'll do then, I guess. No shield. He almost went off the map. Oh, he's ulting for this? Okay, bro. He's just dead. Awesome. And I'm fine if we lose this point as well, by the way, because that means we get more opportunities to rack up score. Oh, thank you. That's a full heal right there. Lovely. And I have my ultimates. Okay. E -b 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 -b. All right, I'm going to try and go for this. I got to throw him now. Oh, does he make it back? No, that's the third one. All right, three points. Three points, chat. We're up to three now. Whew, that was tight. That was tight right there. Uh, alright. I have no credits, so let's keep going. I enjoy inducing content. Yes. <laughs> this is the real trial of the realm right here. Evil Mojo, take notes. Ooh, that Fury was stunned. She's low. Ooh, hello. Ah. Ooh, I got out of position. I was trying to force him out of position. That's bad. Nice ult. That's gonna get the kill. Huge fear coming in here. Destroy the turtle. Oh, that's a team wipe right there. Juicy. Okay. I'm gonna play up here. Near one of the edges. Probably near the right side here. Yeah, just be careful up there, team. I think it'll be more reliable for me to get an ultimate here, though. We're at 91%. Fury is feeding me. We're gonna have one soon. Okay, I have it. going down this time, and you are not coming back up. That's four. Oop. Wait, hold on. Can we get five? Five, 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 five. Don't get a dash back. No, I'm not happening. <laughs> he has a he has a dash passive. Eevee! Oh my god! One point for Jiki! <laughs> nice! Oh my gosh. Okay, Jiki, that was amazing. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> uh, give me some more ultimate charge. 82, 86, we're close. We go for a juicy grab. Oh, JK. Um, heal you. Oh, this is bad. Oh, one point for Fernando. <laughs> I didn't realize the enemies were actively competing in this match, too. Alright, one point for Fernando. I don't know how many Makoa's gotten. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm so close to Racker 2, I need it. I need it back as quickly as possible. I need to keep churning out these ults too, so let me pop up here, actually. Yeah, you're not escaping, sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna come up here, shield, and yoink. Bam, straight down. Oh my gosh, he actually came back. No way, how did he survive that? I threw him directly down. Does he have Sentinel? He doesn't have Sentinel, wow. So, Drogos can recover from a direct throw down. With Convolt? Okay, I'll stop bolting him then. I'm wasting points. Thought because I did it once I could do it again, but I guess not. It's kind of crazy, actually. Okay. Uh, let's try not to lose this here, though. Uh, got the fear coming out. Gonna go for that stun that gets the kill. Battle shout. Uncauterized. That's good. Yes, you're an ultimate battery. Please, give me all the damage. Ooh, got that rail. Nice. No, oh, the shield. I shouldn't have done that. That was really good timing on his end. Man. Still at 41%, but I just wasted all that. Crap. 
Watch your stand. No, Drogos doesn't have Unbound. Unbound wouldn't counter the throw. It only counters the duration. Which they are buying a lot of Unbound for our Damba. But Sentinel would counter the throw because it's knockback. <sighs> okay. Uh, what should I buy alongside Wrecker? Nimble, so I can reposition better, I think. Get in position to throw them off the map more. He didn't ult him straight down, so he was able to get back up. I threw him at a very steep angle down. I'm amazed he lived that, genuinely. I don't know how he did it. Worm Jets as well helps him out, obviously, but, like, he got thrust off of that quick. Wow. Imagine if Mako could hook allies back onto the map. That would be funny. Okay, I need ult charge, so let's just wail away at Makoa here. No shield for you. I get that you're trying to stun lock me, but uh, it's not going to work. Here's Battle Shout. Alright, I have my ultimate. Let me live here for a moment. Huge heals. Alright, let's get to the right. Oh, Makoa's down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save the ultimate and go up to the next high ground then. And just make sure that I can get that. There's battle shot for ya. Alright, let me see. No, how did that miss? That was right on her. Okay, I just got scammed. I just got scammed, Furia. You must die now. <laughs> Block that Makoa hook like a Chad. Ow! I'm dead. If I don't keyboard and mouse play, let's play her. Play who? Also, I really hope we don't win here. I lost track of my score. It's four points, right? Do I have four or three? <laughs> Tell me, chat. Oh, no, we're going to win. No, oh, I need one more point. I need more score. Makoa. Oh, if only he had his ultimate. Oh, no. Come on, give me one more. Give me one more. No, 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 no. One more. Ah. I need to go over here as quickly as possible. Yes, I have an envelope. Ah. Ah, yes, okay, and directly down. What? Why doesn't that work? Okay, what's my final score, chat? Four? Uh, why did that not work? Uh, Connells is so frustrating sometimes. You hit the railing? I didn't hit the railing. I guess I hit the rock, like, underneath that. Why did that not just... It, like, bounced him off it instead of just sliding him down. Why is there collision there, dude? Okay. That's really frustrating. That's really, really frustrating. <sighs> well, four points, though. Final score. Four for Andrew, one for Jiki, one for Koa, one for Nando. Yeah. <laughs> and Koa and Nando both scored on me, so uh, minus two points? <laughs> Do I lose points if I get scored on? I don't think that's how that works. I think I just got four. Could have been more, but I got scammed. I got scammed by Furia. I got scammed by Drogas. I got scammed by the wall. On Androxus? Could have been seven. I'll take four points, though. That's above average, I would say, considering most matches don't even have an environmental kill in them. So yeah, nice. Uh, and now let's throw with an Eevee build. Final match of the stream. Lore Lady announcer as well, I guess, for one match. Do I even have that? Wait, I don't have that. That's like one of the only announcers I actually don't have. That's one of two announcers I don't have. Sorry. Have a refund. Yeah, I know I'm solo. I'm not going to invite too much time. I got to end off, like, soon. The last match was supposed to be, like, 15 minutes ago. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to do this stupid Eevee request for a donation, and then we'll, uh, we'll end off. And I'm not calling it stupid because it's a donation. I appreciate the donation. It's intended to be a very stupid request because of the build, so. It's, it's... Uh... I'm not roasting the donor. That was the Furia. He got mad when a Furia Beam couldn't keep him up because anti-heal exists. Oh, no. <clears throat> I tried to ult you. I, like, clipped the wing, but apparently that wasn't part of your hitbox. I was trying to get as many environmental kills that match as possible. That's why I was so aggressive with my ults. And somehow I threw Drogos off the map once and I succeeded. But then I threw him off the map a second time and he managed to come back with thrusts. It's very weird. Was it my donation from yesterday or Monday? No, Erlmeyer did a donation. Evie. And, uh... Oh, we're about to not have a healer. Wait, hold on. I'm just... I'm gonna lock in. Screw etiquette. 
Ah, uh, this is why I should play with a party, isn't it? <laughs> we would have had a double tank comp. I kind of just screwed the team over there. That's my bad. Ding dong! Coming through! I donated like four EV games from Monday. Yeah, you just kept going and going and going, but I ran out of time. I can't stream forever. Get 30 elims with EV and you get $1. Okay, bet. 30 elims with a terrible build. We just gotta make this match last long. Stealthy on the enemy team stream sniping. Sure on the enemy team stream sniping. Sounds fine. Except for the Kazumi. <laughs> <clears throat> this might actually be a very difficult match. Imani counters EV. Grover counters EV. Atlas counters the dives anyways. I'm definitely going to play Wormhole because this build is trash. I, I need to play safely. Here we go. Wormhole, uh, trash build. We have cooldown on Ice Block and heal it while Ice Block is active. And we're going to buy Kronos because I need maximum cooldowns. This is going to be so bad. It's uh, 325 or 300 health every second while Ice Block is active. So that's 900 health if I last inside the Ice Block for the full amount of time. While being immortal and uncauterized. It's actually not a bad card. These cards aren't necessarily intrinsically bad. It's just that Eevee has much better cards, which is pretty incredible, honestly. I bet another champion, if they could get 900 healing uncauterized guaranteed, 35% movement speed for 4 seconds after using an ability, and 6.25 seconds cooldown reduction, they would go crazy. Those would be their best cards instantly, but all three of these are Eevee's worst cards. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, here we go. Try this out, do some damage. Oh, I missed that. Uh, let's make sure we're breaking that down. Now, did you say 30 kills or 30 eliminations? Because I'm not doing 30 kills this game. I can almost guarantee you that. 30 elims, I'd say, is pretty reasonable for me, though. Considering the match we're in. Oh, huge heal. Thank you. No one's up there, so let me just pop some shots up real quick. Oh, my blink went off, but it didn't teleport me. The delay. Okay. I just missed that shot. She was so low, but I walked right into Root. Didn't anticipate that. Okay. Makoa's dead. Let's just group up. I hope nobody in my team looks at my build. <laughs> uh, that'd be very awkward. Evie, uh, I think you need to change your build. I don't think you thought this through. Oh, he actually got me close. Let me get overtime touch real quick. All right, got Kasumi. <laughs> Two eliminations, only 28 more to go. Hello, Stealthy. I don't have ammo on Ice Block. I'm fighting Stealthy with an objectively worse build. It's kind of funny. All right, there's Overtime Touch again. Oh, sniped, let's go. Let me throw this down on point. No, random cripple as soon as the Ice Block ends. What is that? I need Unbound, dude. This Chain CC is killing me. Four eliminations. Okay, well, we're almost a sixth of the way there. <laughs> In round one. <laughs> and we cap it. Nice. I get the feeling this is going to be a really long match, and that's good. I think I'm going to be collecting that dollar. <laughs> I hope so. Anyways. Off my Grover. Please, sir. Whoop! I'm going up here. I almost died doing that. What the heck? Oh. Do some damage up there. I'm so glad she didn't ult me. That would have been a kill. Guarantee it. Is he off the map? Oh, he rewound. Well played. Smart. Block that. Block that. What is that? Kasumi damage. Dude, I was just flying over. She was nailing me, hitting 100% of her shots. Ah, Kasumi damage, man. Why are we fighting the entire enemy team back here? Where's the rest of my team? We're like, we're getting pushed into our spawn while Imani is just pushing the payload with, like, the dragon or whatever. Why are we so spread out? It's crazy. Horn bound. Oh, man, I haven't gotten elimination in the past few minutes. I need to fix that. I'm just fighting Atlas, and it takes me so long, and then Kasumi comes in and kills me. So much damage. Hello. I want this kill, Stealthy. 
I'm sorry, I need a dollar. <laughs> it, it's, it's, I know it's cheeky, but I need it. I'm hungry, I'm a money grubber, okay? Please. <laughs> there we go, we're officially a fifth of the way there. To 30 eliminations. Nice, there we go. Cool, we're up to eight. Aw, oh, the big wall's there. Get some more damage. Nice, he dies. Huge. Oof. Lots of damage out here. Let me blink. I'm not going to teleport back. I'm just going to play it safe here. No root. Alright, live that. There's some damage into Eevee. Aw, oh, she's got the wall. Alright. Lots of stuff is happening right now. Oh boy. <laughs> Force you back into spawn. Oh, we lost our tank. Crap. There's a snipe. Overtime! No! Okay. We're a third of the way there. In just round one. That's pretty good. One dollar could get you half of the way to something on the dollar menu. Ah, yes, because the dollar menu is not actually a dollar anymore, is it? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need that piece of money for real, for real. <laughs> a dollar is a dollar, I mean. Come on, man. I need it. Alright, let's max out Unbound. That'll be huge quality of life. They have Atlas, Grover, Cripple, Imani, Root. Not gonna help me versus Eevee, but that's fine. That's Selfie's just going... Selfie's going her meta build. Distance travel on Blink, Movement Speed and Soar, Max Health, Armor Plating Veteran. I'm going to struggle with these duels here soon. Five, I got to rely on my Ice Block spam and three, my increased healing. Two, you know what? One. If I take 900 damage and then I Ice Block, I get 900 extra health. So effectively, I actually have 2700 health. Which I think is more than Eevee for a good portion of this match until she levels up all of her items. Oh, I randomly got sniped. Crap, I should have Ice Blocked there. So, uh, yeah, theoretically, in theory, we're actually going to be okay, I think. Maybe, possibly, in the straight 1v1. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, potentially. Assuming she doesn't ult me, <laughs> right? Oh boy, we're all dead. Alright, let's take a chill pill here for a sec. Group up. Oop, there are some enemies there. There are monies ulting. Block all that! <laughs> yes. We're not touching points. What the? I just got two tapped. Bruh. Kasumi can just do that? That's not fair. God, what? That was so fast. How does Kasumi do that? What is she doing? Is that just like... Did I get unlucky with Surrounded by Fear there? Extra damage on Savage Tear. Man, that's brutal. I have not gotten illumination in the past few seconds. Or past few minutes, so this is pretty bad. Gonna be doing better. Oh, she blocked it. Hello. Let me just heal real quick. That's right, I'm a healer too. There we go. Oh, nobody's up there, I should fall back. There we go, save Imani, that's another elimination. Oh, I did it too early. Man, I didn't get her. That would have been so nice. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Crap. We're incrementing this so slowly. It's so hard to get an elimination with this piece of garbage build. I can't snowball. I'm squishy. I'll do one point of armor plating just to get a bit of DR, but I need more Chronos as well. Ah. Technically, Essence Strain got stronger because of the DR split. Oh, true. Man. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright. Hey, thank goodness for the healing card, right? Gonna teleport back? No, you're not. Holy crap, that's half my health gone in an instant from this Kasumi, man. Jeez. Hello. She up here? Oh, she is. Hello. Stealthy, I don't have ammo. This is very awkward. <laughs> I have no ammo on Ice Block. I just lose. 
almost unironically thinking of buying Deft Hands, but I'm not going to. Oh, Makoa's dead. We need to retreat. Throw this out. She jumped over the shot. Got the kill, though. Good. Ooh, there's some damage. There's some damage. Yes. She's gonna get healed back up, though, and she's got the wall. Alright. I suppose that one's a draw. We're basically halfway there. If I can get one more elimination, we're halfway there. About halfway through the match. Yee. Ah, it's just so easy for her to hit me with that auto-aim, dude. Or I guess it's not auto-aim anymore. It's just the most forgiving weapon in the game. Man. <sighs> We're all just getting staggered as well. Our grouping is really bad this match. Holy crap, she's right here. Okay, she's dead. Thank you for that. Oh, we defend. Perfect. And, all right, we're over the halfway mark. Perfect. <laughs> Normally, it wouldn't be as much of a challenge to get 30 eliminations, but when you're running a build this bad, it kind of is. Kasumi <laughs> uh. is so fast, it's hard to hit her. No. I made it hard to hit her because I was moving so fast, trying to be evasive, but my evasion doesn't matter when she's got... Basically, Fernando's Flame Lance, but with longer range. Is kind of how you can think about it. Because it's just, it's such a huge, like, cone, right? Five, four, three, two, <sighs> I'm just going to save credits. I need more Kronos. Also, I'm only keeping a 2 KDA. Not very good. 16 and 8. Could be a lot better, but it's not. Oof. What the heck? I can't even ice block. Why does Kasumi do so much damage, dude? She's actually kind of busted. I'm not going to lie. That is crazy how much damage she deals. I thought I'd have a respite there. Teleported back behind the forge. No, instantly dead. No chance to ice block. Ah, gotta cleanse the marks. Okay, she's dead. I don't know why I got kill credit for that. I'm gonna throw that down just to trap you. That's another one. We gotta get back to the point here. Bonk. Hello. Goodbye. Yup, we go. Oh, okay. We have touch, that's what matters. <sighs> Alright, that was a failure. Let me participate in the Atlas kill, just to get credits. Yee! <sighs> oh man, the turtle's dead. It's gonna contest there for a sec. I'm actually gonna dive super deep back here. Uh, please tell me Kasumi's not here. Okay, we're fine. For now. Oh, she's won. Nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, Kasumi, man. Alright, let me get more Kronos. <laughs> this game is reminding me of old Alacrity Leon? I wouldn't say Kasumi's like that. Did they buff her insanely recently or something? Never even noticed. Oh yeah, she got a whole rework, like, a few patches ago. Made her a lot, lot better. And she also got some pretty massive buffs last patch, so... I am 51 HP. That armor plating literally saved my life. That's how much damage Kasumi is doing to me. It's ridiculous. Oh, if I could have participated in that, that would have been amazing. I can't even dive right there as well, because I'll just straight up lose. I don't do enough damage. Okay, she's gone. Let me deal with this Atlas in our back. Trap him. Boom. There we go. Huge. 22. We're in the home stretch. We can definitely do this. As long as the enemies don't suddenly push it in the next, like, minute. We got it. I'm collecting my dollar. <laughs> Eventually. Thank you, Imani, for taking that. Oof. She's won. She gets away with it. Yeah. Alright. 
Oh, if only I could have participated on Atlas there. Whoops. Well, you should die. Yep, there we go. 24. We're almost done. Where the heck did everyone go? Oh, there you are. Hello. What are you doing, Stealthy? Are you trying to get me my dollar? Ah! I don't know what she's doing. Ah, well, there we go. 25. Five sixths of the way there. She's won. Boom. There we go. Good. Oh, this is looking super good. If I can just get four kills in the next round, we absolutely get my dollar. Ooh. Ah! One more. Okay, I only need three more. If he gets another kill there for another assist, I get another one, but no, that's not happening. All right. <sighs> Just three eliminations away. If I can't get that, I'm going to be so sad. Let me maximize my chances of survival with Veteran. Just to survive long enough to get these kills. And then... Yeah, we should have it. Yeah, Life Rep got buffed. It's twice as effective. Uh, but the point remains that it's still unreliable healing. Uh, because if you shoot the enemies, I usually shoot back with my cauterize. So it's much much less safe healing than more consistent sources of healing in this game. And it also scales on your weapon damage. So if you have a good weapon, it can be worth it. But if you have a mid-range or low-range weapon, it's still not worth it. Ultimate is ready, yes. Let's go. I believe in you, Makoa. I'm going to pop over here. Got a bunch of enemies over there. Dragons coming out. That's one. That's gonna be two. All right, I need one more kill this entire match. Teleporting into the field just to try and have a chance of hitting Eevee. Come on, give me this kill. One more. She's gone, okay. Ooh, fast reflexes there. Atlas is gonna have to touch point soon. Just gonna throw this down. Please, enemies, actually touch point. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, they have overtime, but I'm dead. Wait, no. Wait, this could be bad. I might be one elimination short. No. Okay, okay, it's not over yet. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. I just need one more elimination. Okay, let's group up. Gosh. Ooh, Imani diff, nice. Hmm. Ah. All right, I'm just going to fly up and over and try and put some damage on point. PP away. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm actually going to be one elimination short. I'm actually going to be one elimination short. No. Come on, just last a little bit longer. Let me get back out there. No, 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 no. You fought well, Oh, my God. I'm actually such a loser, dude. I'm actually such a loser. How do I get one elimination short? 30 eliminations in a 20-minute game. Okay, I guess that's not possible with this build, then. God, I actually got 14 kills, too. I actually did better than our money with a trash build. <laughs> but uh, not, not good enough to get a dollar, apparently. Literally one kill is all I need. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Shadiest2003 donated one dollar. Uh... No worries, you still get it. And copy my sky really? build my user as shady That's generous. 2003. I appreciate that. Damage. Copy your sky build? Why am I taking a sky build? I th That's the last... It has to be the last game of the stream. We're running an hour over at this point. I have to end off. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. God. I feel so bad that I didn't get it, though. Officially. Are you saying your money did bad? No, I'm just saying I did better and I had a trash build. <laughs> she did good. I just did gooder, I guess. But still, ugh. one off. That's so sad. That's so sad. I panicked at the end there because the enemies weren't touching the point. And so I thought genuinely we wouldn't have another opportunity to win. But then they ended up killing us because I panicked. And then I just died and I couldn't get back in time to actually get an elimination. So sad. <sighs> all right, well, let's find somebody to raid. If you guys have enjoyed the stream, of course, make sure to follow, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And, um, yeah, check out the check out the Discord. So many things to do. We'll raid Z1 today. 51. Looks like he's in queue for ranked right now. 
Let's give him some love. When I was standing still, I was trying to see if I could survive three shots. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeesh. He had a lot of survivability. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.